What's up, everybody? The color in the back's not 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 popping, not popping. There we go. No, oh, I'm wearing I'm wearing different. Turn around like a purple. Turn around purple. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the stream. If you got if you got tagged from the mode, welcome. The opinion that matters most. Oh, thank you, Scope. Oh, oh my. Got some Brody, thank subscribe. you for the seven months. Edgar, thank you for seven months. New man, new job, new sleeping schedule. Nice, congratulations. We're rebuilding your FN. I want an F1. Ice cream, Ching. Thailand. Thailand's one of the last trips I took. I, was it, I think it was Thailand. I think it was. No. I think I went to Japan, but right before that, I went to Thailand. I saw someone getting, like, doing a honeymoon there. And my fiance and I were just going for funsies, and I was like, <laughs> oh, I didn't prep God, anything for the stream. Subscribe. I was going to do like stats instead of for the stream. Thank you. I was going to do stats instead of for the stream, but unfortunately, I couldn't. Couldn't. It didn't happen. But what I did figure out was you know how I use a dynamic mic, and I tell you that don't trust the dynamic mic sound test. And if you want the most accurate, wait for the YouTube sound test. What I've actually done is go wider right here. This is my shotgun mic for the YouTube sound test. When we get to the sound test today, I'm going to point it straight down. I'm going to swap the mic from this mic to that mic. So you will get the YouTube like sound signature that is the most accurate to the ears to my to the best of my ability so that by the end of the stream, you will have a sound test that you can compare against all the other sound tests on my channel. So you can kind of uh, have a baseline. Cause I know what sound tests, different creators, different uh, recording environments, different microphones, even my, even me being a creator, having a dynamic mic for, mic, mic for streams, as well as a shotgun mic for YouTube, it, it's different. But once you kind of compare it with my library tube sound tests, I think you're in a good spot. Mason Gray, best switches for gaming, deepest thought. Mid linear things are deep right now. It's not even, it's not even an expensive shotgun mic guys. It's. It's a vlogging mic. It's a deity. <laughs> it's not even expensive, dude. This is one. This one's more expensive. I think this. Yeah, this one's more expensive. What color did Tehag get? I didn't get to watch the stream because I went out to the movies last night. Deity marks are sick. Current keyboard sound test. Always in tangies. I think. I like always more than tangies. Oh my. Got somebody subscribe. We can try and swap it real quick. Let, let's let's get a little warm up. See if this mic works. If it's broken, it might be broken. Sometimes there's electrical like noise. I don't know where that comes from, but it happens. You got a blue gray. That's that's a nice color. So this is how it looks, right? Bring it down. It is on right now. It is connected. So what I need to do? Swap to this camera. What I need to do? I go into my settings. This mic's gonna be turned off right now. This mic's no longer working. Now it's on this mic, right? Looking at the levels, my check. My check, my check, yeah. Yeah, it's a DD. I mean, it's a jelly buck. Let me swap back to this mic. Let's move this out of the way. Okay. <sighs> Hopefully I got PC bottom. You might be disappointed, man. Sounds just like Ellie Jelly Epoch. Hey, accurate sound is good, man. Accurate sound is good. That's all, that's all we care about. That's all we care about. Senvi is very attractive. I won't disagree with that. It's sexy, man. If aluminum rectangles could be sexy, then some view be it. If you could take a keyboard out to dinner, it might be the 7V. Welcome, everybody. Power switches. Mauve housing with dark pumps. <laughs> 
Are you saying that because of Cookie Curls contest? I'm, I tell, I'm gonna tell you guys, I absolutely hate Franken switching because I don't think it's like a good example for people. The only people that Franken switch are the people that probably aren't buying a mode. It's like people that have been in the hobby for a while and just bored. Nothing wrong with being bored, but it's expansive. Expansive. Date the seven people thinking of the jelly the entire time. <laughs> right, the mode is in here, but before we get to the board, is the board in here? Yeah, it's in there. Let's go look at the extras that was in the package. I can't get the little ASMR test because there's no bag in this one. I love Frank because I'm buying a mode. <laughs> Alright, Mr. Baller. You're probably getting the mode with the titanium titanium back and brass bottom, yeah? Oh my god, somebody subscribe. Feels bro with the redemption of wing mode. If you don't know what wing mode is, when I talk like your uncle, like this one. I I grew up in a garden girl, so this is the voice of my people. Leo Saigon, they call that place. Very nice, my uncle talk like this. And my my father, his favorite adjective is uh, so sick. So he would say maybe the most 65 so sick. Cause keyboards are so sick. <laughs> It's funny because all, that's all he know. He doesn't he doesn't know good. He doesn't know cool. He just knows so sick. Or he'll speak in video. Did you ever buy the flag nor I, I saw the bag school play, but man, it's like a hundred plus. Black ink housing of black ink stems. <laughs> what right nasty? You mean a regular ink? No, it's, I don't, they're gonna sh uh it, that might be the box, but I don't know if there's gonna be packing material around it. I've already done unboxing for my patrons. So this is the PCB. It's curved along the sides. I'm not sure why. My dad is a zoomer. It seems like the weird 90s skateboard thing to say. Yeah, I don't know why he says it. I don't know what he, what he, where he, what kind of TV show he saw. The Here's the brass plate. It has like a finish on it. So it won't like take in those little markings of patina, like the negative patina where it looks like black spots. Let's go look back at the PCB. It's a JSC connector uh, reset button right here. Do I know what they need to fix with additional round of prototyping? Well, the aluminum units, so did, did Taya not answer this question? Well, the aluminum units have a tolerance issue where the bottom doesn't sit flush. It sits well with the stack mount, but it doesn't fit well with the top and the ISO top. So what they're doing is adding more material to the case. And because of that, they need another round of prototyping. Gene Jui, thank you for the tier one sub. I appreciate it. Did I miss anybody? Alphabet, thank you <laughs> for the two months. Uh, anyone else? Uncle, Uncle Du said here on point. Thank you. And I thank God everybody. I have two plates. Palm is one of them. No, no. Brass is one of them. Palm is not one of them. So if we look at the design of the PCB, Gonda does good work. Polycarb top, polycarb top, polycarb top and bottom. I don't know how tops affect sound. I only think about the bottom, dude. All right, these are the stabs I need to use. We're gonna wholly mod the spacebar, just the spacebar, because I'm. As I say that, you know how I say like two use stabs don't really tick? Uh, the two use stab on my freaking juvie is ticking. <laughs> but luckily it's playlist, so I can just pull it out, but still. <laughs> Alright, that's everything in the bag. Alright, so let's pull this one out. Let's see. Crazy loud? What did he. He did it with half play, right? This desk map is. If I hide my face, I want to. I want you to see the face too. Hide my face. Oh wait, no. Twenty four. It's the Kobe desk map. Bolsa, it's King of LA. Bolsa supply. Half plate, loud, space bar. Not sure why that would be. Thank you mode. For. Permanently printing, it's not permanent. 
guess they they've been here is this a sticker no it's a piece of tape and paper I feel should i i feel like i should make this a sticker though similar to gym bro but half the price thank you scope half the price yo wait does do they sell us on amazon please be on amazon i know the gangster rafts were on, was on amazon because i bought it from amazon amazon please i i have i have a commitment issues no it's on amazon but i will bookmark this thank you scope Are those scales? It's supposed. I think it's supposed to be like a basketball. I don't. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe for Black Mamba. If I think about it, I didn't really read the description. I just saw. I saw the Kobe influence. I was like, yes, purchase. And then I closed the tab because I read it. Just buying things for no reason. Top case would cause more reverb. Well, I have a full polycarbonate board, which is the Rukia, and I don't really hear reverb. Andy face stickers. Uh, I'll, I'll come up with some stickers. I'm working on a t-shirt right now. The, the uh, GB t-shirt. So this is the carbon fiber plate which you will be using. Probably for Black Mama. That makes sense. So we're doing a CF. CF, is, CF isn't used too too common too often. So we're, when we have the chance, run it. I remember doing... Um, the switch I also have is Retools. So I remember doing vintage MX blacks on brass in Kiko 165. That's the gasket mount. And that sounded super quiet. And that was hella whack. CF is kind of better for tactiles because it's stiffer. FR4 is better for fingers. GAWK specifically. And I think this is an extra PCB. I'll open it up just in case I'm missing. We'll get to the case color in a second. How many configurations of the board are planning to do? Uh, let's see if we can run all of them. Let's see if we can run all of them. I had a prior engagement, but I, that engagement is gone now, so we can stay here and hang out. Cover everything you need to know for your purchase decisions. I don't, I don't want you guys to get to like buy blindly. Like, yo, know, like didn't the the E White sell out already, or like the first batch sell out even before Teja stream? I'm like, yo, people are crazy. Like, if you buy them before a sound test, man, that and people who bought Tomo before the sound test, I was like, sheesh. Y'all got math FOMO. Don't be like that. Be smarter, please. Tomo FOMO. Bro, people, people crazy. Crazy. Yeah, they're supposed to be in stock eventually. I know the, the mode 80 has been pretty accessible. Everyone getting accelerated fulfillment if they're in the first batch? Not everyone. The E white like capacity for the October delivery has been surpassed, so now it's December. But all the other colors, the last I checked, still had the October deadline or October delivery, which is different from the original accelerated schedule of August, which would have been extremely nutty. Wait, <laughs> my stream is chiller than Tejas and Teja. Tejas. That's weird because when I started, the whole thing was like, I don't want to sound like Teja. I don't want to feel like Teja. And then, then I got jaded and tired and old. <laughs> I, uh, I can only be so energetic for so long. But a hint for what the original color is, I have a brass extras back. Jelly is scheduled for delivery next week. Definitely have hopes for Mode 65 sound. I really hope the Mode 65 sounds good. I didn't spoil myself by watching Teja sound test. I'm just doing a live right now. Teha stream was packed. Uh, so I, you're saying I don't have enough viewers. Well, thank you. All right. Just kidding. I love you all. Thank you for being here. Hang out with me. Take a look at this keyboard. Okay. Here's a big reveal, and I'm 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 gonna disappoint you guys. <laughs> Teha equal master Ugwe? What's Ugwe? So I'm gonna disappoint you guys with the colors. I'm gonna tell you that right now. You can you can see a bit of it peeking through. You can see a, a bit of it peeking through. It's also morning versus night. Morning on Saturday, that's true. So here are all the little extras for the gaskets and stuff. This package is temp, dude. He drove it to me. He didn't have to pack it. This was hand delivered. 
like i met jacob he drove up in this like convertible car and he was like here's the keyboard so it was in his trunk it wasn't abused by ups looks like black are you assuming my color huh you assuming my color i took this apart already so it may have had like one more piece of foam so this is what we got today and my vietnamese yes sora yeah, there, there's feet, but there's also the... Here, we'll open this up. How much extra hand delivery? $20? <laughs> Bro, he drove from NorCal, I think. They were just going on vacation or something out here. Gotta go fast. So we got, we got things here. We got like playing cards. Okay. So we got colors of the rainbow, right? Right. So we got here uh, oh, black feet, got somebody gold feet, subscribe. gray feet. Uh, these are are these supposed to clip on? They're telling me that this is gonna be a little bit easier to install the O-rings. There are no titanium backs from this run because we wanted to get the oh, this snaps around the plate, so this is easier to install. Instead of having an O-ring and trying to center it, this just goes around the top. Uh, there's no titanium. They're like jelly tabs? Yeah! They're like a thin jelly tab. Thin jelly tab. Screws, a daughter board, and a driver with two bits. So, I, we just have all black and we have brass accent back and, back and bottom. Uh, the bottom somewhere, hold on. What I put? Oh. Yeah, they, they can slide over or you screw th through them depending on what kind of mounting you want. So if you slide them over, that's going to be the stack mount. And if you just screw into it, that's going to be the uh, burger mount, also known as ISO top. Here's the heavy thing. You want to know what's crazy about this? We, we need to pull out the scale. But this itself is heavier than this. No cap. Let me, let me make some space because I'm poor and I have a small table of four feet wide. I don't have a, a studio. I share a desk with my fiance. So she this is why like I always look over and I'm looking at her because she's literally working next to me, getting pissed at why I'm just so loud. Alright. So we need we need to get some numbers, right chat? Numbers. So let's let's just assume that uh we're gonna gonna get a full build weight now let's do pounds mostly you're us right so let's say we did a full build pcb switches plate pcb stabs so that full build is going to be like 2.4 pounds right oh it's, it's missing right got somebody subscribe thank you as the clouds do for the three months so it's 2.2.4 pounds and for the weird non-us people that don't believe in freedom units it's one kilogram Right? So the board itself is 0.8 kilograms, 28 ounces, 1.8 pounds, just the case and the silicone, right? What's, look at this funny. Look at how funny this is. One more time. This right here is 1.8 pounds, right? The brass back itself is 2.9 pounds. That's 1.3 kilos. It's almost double. The, the board itself versus the brass back the brass back is like double the weight i'm gonna tell you this right now i'm gonna tell you this right now holding this in my hand i i gotta be honest with you man going with a 300 dollars base unit this feels like a kvd 67 mark ii in terms of weight and feel and i know Teha compared to the element the element is just as light as well if you have full aluminum it doesn't have that girth so if if you want like a board a65 with the customization great if you want $300, it's going to feel really light. NK65 is a joke. Like, NK65 and KVD67 light, those are polycarbonate. And, like, the cheapest non-CNC polycarbonate. So it's even lighter. Oh my God. Can I wear the brass back, please? Yeah. So if you want this to be, like, more end game, you do have to put some more money toward the brass back and mid. Uh, and bottom and back. 
It's just my opinion, of course. Where's the brass piece? Where did I put? I, I had all these bags. I put them somewhere. Oh. Wait, no. Guess I'll stick a dumbbell in my keyboard. <laughs> Yeah, it's light. Aluminum as the material is just light, and I think this is just a little bit lighter than usual aluminum. It's not as dense, I don't feel like. Yeah, the add-ons are expensive, so you it, it's good to have those options because if you don't care about all that, you're not stuck with paying so-and-so so -and -so amount of money. So if you look at the Element G67, that's $265 for the base, so that's cheaper for the aluminum, but if you go to the brass bottom uh, G67, uh, that one's 440. So if you just do brass bottom on the mode, it's a little bit cheaper. So right here we got 0.2 kilograms, six ounces, 0.4 pounds. So 0.4 pounds, that's like a third. No, that's like a 0.4 pounds. That's like one fourth to one fifth the weight of the. Was PVD not an option? What do you mean? The, the bottom, the shiny bottom. How does Moke 65 case compare to a basic to Tofu 65 case? The weights, the Tofu has like a little bit of, the Tofu is heftier, I think. M uh, Mando, I think, I don't have it right here, but I'm pretty sure the Tofu is heftier. The Tofu is thicker. Denser. Megatron, thank you for the three months. D65, I don't have a D65. Tofu 65 has a, <laughs> has a brass weight, dude. It's like, it's like this. It's like this thick. <laughs> Will the brass back piece add weight to the board? Yes. We can. Here, here, here's a cool thing. Before we even get to the build. Right. Like, yo, I, I want to swap. I want to swap my keycaps, right? Yo, I need the. I need the back to match. You know what you do, bro? You stick your finger in here. Let's be careful not drop it. Oh, look at that. Magnets, bro. Magnets is the future. So, yeah, you can just pop it off. So I'm gonna weigh this to compare. See what the, the weight difference is. You know, aluminum is a lighter material. We have 0.1 pounds, 60 grams, two ounces. Let's just keep it at ounces. Two is a nice even number. The brass is 6.4 ounces, about three times heavier. The magnetic piece looks weird if you use the same color as the top. Out of focus, what'd I do? Huh? Grand total, grand total what? Magnets, how do they work? Uh, You have one magnet side, and then another magnet side. You stick it. How much money? Uh, I'm not sure. I know the brass bottom is like a hundred dollars, hundred and five. Grand total weight with brass back and brass front. I have to unscrew this. Your boy Chi, thank you for the hundred bits. But yeah, I use the blue gray top, copper bottom, white back piece. It looks so good. That's a lot of different colors. Uh, let's see. Dude, I missed okay. Does your message stay? Okay. Copper bottom, white back piece. Blue gray top, copper bottom, white back piece. White. Blue gray and white will look good together. Yeah, I think that could work. I, I really want to I, I want to use a TI back. If I would run it, I would just ball out for the TI back. Geneva says I get tilted to any colors. Yeah, so that that's white, blue gray, and then copper. So the blue gray and the copper, I'm not sure. We're going to build this with all back, all black, all aluminum so we can get a baseline because I think that is what we need to test first and then we can switch configs later. Do I want black and gold? I think I said it looked nice, but I want titanium back. Titanium back is shiny. And I like shiny. TI is very light. Oh, well, I mean, the, the back doesn't add too much to the weight. It's the bottom. Is copper heavier than brass? Not anything, not significant enough for you to notice. We looked at this, we talked about this in the survey yesterday, and brass and copper are very similar. Black fits all the shiny parts best. Copper is slightly heavier, very slightly heavier. I would expect maybe very slightly. Scopely, they're not sus, they just take a long time. They will fulfill. They always fulfill. I got my 268.2 GB from them. It just didn't meet the original deadline. He's been very communicative though. So you know what's going on. It's not like he just goes dark. So there's no reason not to trust Noxtree. 
He makes good stuff. What about the sound difference? We won't know. We won't know until we run it. Which is why I have the microphone. Okay. Start putting stuff away and let's run these steps. Use brass for build, please. We can do both. The mounting style is independent. The mounting is independent of the... The other thing is, the silicone is screwed into the bottom. I'm not 100% sold on that the idea because I've had silicone bottom. And I feel like it doesn't need screws. It just stays. This is also 3D printed, so it looks a little scuffed because they didn't have time to get the clean, like, manufactured uh, silicone dampener. So this is 3D. I know you guys want every combination, but we'll see what we can do, yeah? So, the mounting style I'm most interested, interested in is the ISO top. So, I'll put this aside. We're going to run a 7U spacebar. Think of doing blue gray top to pair with 80082. Do I think it'll look good with that? It will, because boob has blue influences. Oh. I think I just oh need to take two. Got five. somebody subscribe. Thomas Paul, thank you for the Twitch Prime. I appreciate it. We're gonna be able to see if it's not in the build command. Let me double check. To the stream. You guys want 6.25U? I can do a vote. I'm doing the styles now. I don't I don't really care. We'll do we'll do a vote real quick. We do on stream or on screen vote. It's ones and twos. Uh grab it. Where's my OPS? Is it showing? It's a number chat, hold on. Why isn't it showing? Hold on! Okay, while you vote, I'm gonna grab paper towel for the stuff. All right, we have, looks like we have clear winner for the 6.25U. It's gonna be 6.25U. <laughs> yeah, it's all good. It's all good. I ain't keeping this, so. The mo guys, they're, they're just like, do whatever is meta. I'm like, yo, what's more meta than the chat voting? Voting it live. I'll also let you guys pick the keycaps. Got two options. It's gonna be either GMK Cafe or GMK White and Black Hangul. I'm gonna holy mod the 6.25 spacebar. Or Hyperglide's meta? Uh, it's preferencing. I don't have switches. They only sent me for tools. Holy mod uh, removes, like prevents ticking. They sent black. 
the footprint. It's a black case chat. So far, my thoughts on the full aluminum is it feels kind of cheap. At $300, you're, you're pushing right up against the price of a Vega, which is $300 with a, with a weight. But mode has accessibility and speed of production. Carpool tunnel. I'm sure cafe has already been done. Cafe has been done all the time. I do cafe and block all the time. Yeah, Holy Mod is worth it. I don't think Holy Mod works on CT stabs. Yeti, we're matching. Cafe is definitely OP. Cafe is so OP, I gave away my GMK Olivia because I was like, hey, I don't need Olivia. I got Cafe. That's part of the subathon. Alright, we're gonna finish this poll. Cool. So the winner is 6.25 view. We refresh this and we run. Tay streamed it yesterday. Yesterday night 7 p.m. PT. I'll let you guys make me suffer if you want other keycaps, but here we go. Yeah, Olivia got used so much that I, I kind of got over it too. Does a bandaid move in the holy mod? If uh, What I've been doing is not having a loop around back. Cause like when it loops, the the part that loops over gets screwed up. Teha already did Future Funk. I'm pretty sure is on some other board, so that's why I don't want to run it. But if you want me, to, if you want me to suffer and break open a brand new Future Funk, go ahead and vote for it. Future Funk looks weird on black. <laughs> what does Future Funk look good on? To be honest, I, I, I... thoughts on Aluvia. Aluvia sounds super expensive, man. Sounds too expensive. I, my vote is Hangul. That's my bias. Aluvia is a stupid GB. <laughs> Yeah, like 300, like 65, 300 plus GV for keycaps that you're not going to daily. You can get a straight up keyboard instead of Olivia. That's true. That's 100% true. I forgot which side I just cut off. I think it was this side. I don't even know. Wait, which chat? Top or bottom, which side did I just open? Because one of them was exposed to air and like slippery. The aftermarket Olivia. No idea. No one is looking. Fuck. <laughs> Hold on, I have another one. It's, it's, it's okay. It's okay. I have another one that's also fresh. Fuck it. I already moved it. Now I don't know which one bottom is. Yeah, it's, it's okay. <laughs> I want one of my hungos winning. So. I'm just gonna cough the side that doesn't work. Just there. I'm not gonna forget. Is Olivia not made by GMK then? Should you focus on the Olivia? <laughs> PTFE tape instead of Holy Mod? No. You know what's funny? I actually got hurt the other day and needed a band aid, and I was like, I'm almost out of band aid. So I went to go buy more band aids because of the freaking Holy Mod. Because I hurt my fingy right here. I'll go cut. I don't wanna zoom into that. You don't need to see that. But I was getting my band, I was like, dude, I have like four left. I didn't buy the product. This, this, the board's going back. It's not sponsored in any way. I don't get a kickback from the links. I get nothing. Like, honestly, honestly, if Mode would pay me, I would take it. But they didn't, they didn't give me nothing. I ain't got money. So this is for you guys, all right? So please make me dance with some get the subs or something. Send donuts because I broke my goddamn camera. <laughs> bits. I, I got some bits already. I, I appreciate it. So if you got Twitch Prime, 
That's your that's your free way of supporting. Otherwise, yeah, I'm not getting paid. I'm just holy modding one pair. But I forgot which one was like still sticky oh on the my line. God, somebody Fly subscribe. Fire Water Thunder. Thank you for the Twitch Prime. I appreciate it. Uh, this piece is too thick. Oh shit. Water block Hongo one. Oh my god. Thank god. I didn't want to open up Twitch Prime. Jolie, thank you for the Twitch Prime. The part that gives me a side oh mode 65 is ISO hotspot support. Ah, that's subscribe. pretty sick. Quick revive cola. Thank you for the Twitch Prime. Faguli, thank you. Oh my. For the tier one. Subscribe. Tier Misu, thank you for re seven. Okay, I have to like cut off a little bit, bit of BDPs. Oh. Young Su Man, thank you for the Twitch Prime. Subscribe. How did I break my cam? I dropped it while filming outside. Because I was using a gorilla pod, and the gorilla pod just toppled over. Oh so, God, big sad, dude. Big sad. If you hit the broken, if you type broken camera, there's actually an imager showing what happened to it. So type the uh, exclamation mark broken oh camera. There should be an imager. God, somebody subscribe. Gustamus Prime, thank you for the Twitch Prime. I don't oh trust Gorilla Pause for that exact reason. Yeah, subscribe. dude, I fucked myself up. That is, that is, dumb. Oh shit, all this fell out. Okay. Didn't mean for all that to fall out. I was in like I was in a rush oh that day too. That was, that's probably what happened. Subscribe. I was like, I need to do this, I need to do this, I need to do this. I need to run here or else I'm gonna be behind. Now I, I just fucked myself up. So moral of the story is take your time, don't rush. Cause when you rush, bad things happen. Anti, I thank you for the Twitch Prime. We have too many images now. <laughs> Sorry, sorry. Oh my god, somebody. Slow spring subscribe. makes the top of the spring a little bit heavier. So the easiest explanation as to why people use it is it uh, helps you not typo as much because you don't just hit a key from brushing over it. But also some people say it's a little bit poppier. I don't know about what that means. How it means. What they mean by that. Three like share, thank you. I'm glad you like my content. Thank you for the Twitch Prime. For the resub. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why. I, it's because I didn't want to bring a full tripod outside because it, it looks weird. Because people stare at you and stuff. And this was before the lockdown was lifted. Like, it wasn't a full lockdown. People can be outside with uh, masks and stuff. But I was filming, so I didn't want to use my mask. Next thing I know, the camera hit the flow. Looks like I'm surveying with the tripod. Yeah. You can be the new one. Can meet here, take a place. Okay, Omomo. So we can talk in line. Then pick something. <laughs> My fiance said, pick a place. And I picked and she's like, I hate that place. <laughs> we'll meet them there. Real pod swag tries. I have a switch pod. I didn't go to Costco yet. I ran out. Well, I did go Costco. I did go Costco. I did. I bought my Greek yogurt. As if it's going to make me skinny. Some chicken. Uh, what else? We need we need to restock on chicken breast because, you know, I need to I need to get skinny. Dude, I, I've been working out for like a week and I gained weight. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> Why? What did I do? Body, I have been eating well. I've been eating rice and I gained two pounds. The fuck wrong with you? If Teha didn't say it was sponsored, I don't think he got paid. Muscle memory kicking in. So what had happened was my weight didn't really change during the pandemic. So I guess I converted it to fat and now I'm getting muscle on that fat. So I'm gaining weight. This sucks, dude. This sucks. I hate everything about this. Yeah, fuck. That's true, that's true. You guys are right, you guys are right. Uh, I do eat veggies. I actually hate frozen veggies though. My fiance keeps telling me like, eat uh, cauliflower 
cauliflower or cauliflower rice, but she eats it from frozen, and then when she microwaves it, it just becomes watery, and then we just she just throws frozen vegetables in there because it's faster. But then even that's watery, and I'm like, I hate all this. Too. I want this to stop. No more. What's up, Marcus? Raw peppers are the goat veggie. Raw peppers are pretty. I think boiling broccoli was the easiest and just throw salt on it. Anavar Olinia, what's that? Frozen vegetables are gross, but they're efficient. As a bro bodybuilder, frozen vegetables and frozen chicken breasts and just rice, bread and butter. Easy. And he turns into Kirby when eating steaks. <laughs> Last night I got fish and chips and I regretted it. That was 2000 calories of not worth it. It was just a mountain of fries. And as an Asian American, you don't leave food on the plate. So I ate it all. I'm like, well, gain three pounds, easy. It wasn't even that good. It was just deep fried. Use broth to cook my veggies. Oh, that's smart, that's smart. We're going to do carbon fiber plate and we're going to run all the mounting styles if we can. Fully modified leather styles feels mushy at the start. You got breaking in a little bit. But also, I save time because two of you styles typically don't tick, so I'm just gambling. If you want, you can uh, fully mod all of them, but you got to make sure that it doesn't feel mushy on the two yous because it tends to do that. Carbon fiber inks has been my new surprising like preference. So I gain weight like nobody's business. I'm big boy. Okay, let me put all these uh stems in here. I'm Nadia. Crossfitters take Anovar? Like why is that specifically to crossfitters? Depends on the switch, on a stun. Was a woman steroid, a steroid at the time? Funny. Okay, am I missing a stem? Sorry. I'll just go back. You don't really need to see close up. Did I lose this at all? I didn't lose this one. Uh, yeah. Yeah, clean twin steroids. I don't use steroids. Uh, I don't want small people. But I'm not against PEDs. Not really PEDs, but rather like testosterone when you're older. Because your body's just not going to have as much testosterone in old age, like 40s plus. There's an argument for that. As long as you do it safely with the guidance of a physician. But in terms of like being 20 years old and trying to use people, like for what? I'm pretty sure they're hyperglides. What uh, did Taya use on his half plate? Does my M key on my jelly sound hollow compared to anything else? No. Wait, did he not have the VOD up? Isn't it just on Twitch? They sent me hyper guys. Uh, if there's zero chance, I will take my time to lube a set of switches just to build into a board and promo a company just to send it back to them that takes like three hours of my time so if, if a company wants me to build and send back then they need to provide stabs and switches i'll loop stabs but like looping switches is a commitment it's a straight up commitment he doesn't put it on twitch because it what but his music is dmca on Twitch, but not YouTube? Uh huh. What? Hey, 
Yeah, he pays for licenses for his music. So like, why would he be afraid of Twitch? That's weird. Yeah, he has to wait 24 hours or else Twitch gets angry. If you do it within 24 hours, Twitch is like, you are not our partner. We'll, they'll have some like, rep, they'll reprimand you or something. You make a place to you to make money, not for copywriting. Uh, that's true. Twitch vods don't have AdSense. Keep. Thank you for gifting out five. Yo, we gotta dance now. Hit the ten mark. Everyone, please, everyone, if you got a gift of stuff from Key Realtor, please send him a thank you. Stuff a little more 25G0. All right. Make sure I clear the flow. I, I, I seriously need to get new music, though. The Nay Nay? <laughs> I can try, or I don't know. I'm not gonna do random. Let's see, stream any epidemic. Any go nene? No, <laughs> I forgot how that goes. I'm gonna play a song. Let's see. With the nene, what is? I don't even remember that. I do stream on YouTube, man. Have you been to my YouTube channel? There's VODs on there. I was like, YouTube stream VODs. Why is my heart rate being so small? Just recovered. Yo, my knees. Goddamn boomer, dude. Oh, oh my god. I've been off my knees because I got injured. So that cranked them a bit. <laughs> Think it too much. Yeah, that track was pretty hot. I'm gonna add some of this. Yeah, I got them cyberpunk vibes. I feel it, I feel it. Was that duck? Oh, that is duckmo. You, you ID'd it. Yeah. I mean, it's on top left. It's my farm? What do you mean? Big money, big money. What? So the Medi. What next build instead of how we mod, please? It me take on stopping stop ticking without introducing resistance or slug is this? I have no idea. So do PTFE tape whole mod next build instead of holy mod please. It's my take on stopping tiles without ticking without introducing sluggish just no rick whatever. Alright. I'll bookmark it brother. Thank you for the $30 donation. Wait. Okay, I got it. I see it. This is what he's talking about. I'll drop the link if anyone wants to try it. It is a wing TDS. <laughs> this is the link he gave, so. Big money, big money. Have you ever thought of our career as a pole dancer? <laughs> 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 
No. Not as a male, dude. <laughs> Bro, I'm trying to build a keyboard. Is that voice coming from my stream room uncle downstairs? <laughs> Bro, it's it's like really advanced. Is this a Vietnamese AI? <laughs> oh, I got, got I got stains on my arm now. Hold on. No, 40 push-ups. Oh shit, alright. Alright, it's gonna be one of those, yeah? Let's do this one. 40? Can I do 40? Hope so. Hope I don't embarrass myself. Oh. Can I do 40? Can these arms do 40? I don't know, man. I don't know. Might even be, only be able to do 10. Plus ten clapping. Assert dominance. But now I can't breathe. <laughs> I got tell. Can you get a playlist? The song's in the top left. Thank you, right now. Yo, hold on, thank you for the 12 months. One year, big numbers, bro. One fifty gram springs to get ripped. <laughs> My finger is actually really weak. Bro, I need to turn off the AC. <laughs> I'm getting killed in here. My fiance is gonna be cold. She's gonna be cold. Give me this. Cause this room is hotter than the rest of the rooms in the house. I need holy mud my knees. <laughs> True. Alright. My body is gonna have a residual heat for a little bit. Let's continue doing these stabs. Now, I'm not getting Olivia. Heaviest circuit get up I can do? I have to look at it. Probably just 35 dumbbell half. Thanks, Sarah. I got that for free. And one of my side hustles is to do promos for companies like that. They sent me the prints. I bought some frames. And I got paid eighty dollars to make some videos. It, not, it wasn't even a video. I just sent them clips. They have like an AI to edit it. Also never stops. Favorite play for tactiles? Aluminum or brass? CF is good sometimes. But I think I just like aluminum. I feel like people ask about the Alexa 65. I looked at it and I forgot about it. Longevity of Alluvia. I feel like your keycaps might start getting stains from sweats. That's my thing. That's my thoughts. Just some looking at it. You know how like brass patinas? I don't know how aluminum lasts. Maybe we're doing CF today. Let me update my command. I do not get to keep the board. This is XHTBDZ. 
You can buy it from one of the two of the affiliates, Prevail, Kiko, or Bear Cables. I use it for two use styles instead of Holy Mod. SHD DBZ. Yeah, Dragon Ball Z. I used to 5G0 for styles, but SHT BDZ works a little bit better for me. So what I do is what I recommend if you can't afford the DBZ, now we just fully mod all your stabs. Dialect your grease moves around a lot, so I don't like using it. Palm plates are amazing with ink. I really don't use it with anything else. I have SB stars and an on my plate, which is very similar to palm, and I don't like the, the sound. I was wild and outside. My fiance is gonna drop them in here in a few minutes. He's like super loud outside and put him on camera. He doesn't make a sound, dude. Hey, bring him here. All right. Stash are finished. We'll test it in the PCB. He's a shy boy for sure. Nah, I got all black. Damn. Wish I got a cooler color. It's all good. The whole point is to figure out the sound. Guys, come here. Quiet now. <laughs> Hello. Go. Go to PetSmart. I should get them quiet. <laughs> I didn't sign up for this. I don't like doing SC mod because I don't have good double sided tape. But I have band aids because I use them for boo boos. I like using Holy Mod and Space Bars because it's longer and there has there's a propensity, there's a high possibility of it ticking. Whereas my two years are fine with SHTBDZ. Tilio's, I don't know, aluminum plate, I guess? They're like super high pitch though. Alright. Screw these in Tesla styles. We ha we are an hour in. Dude, I was watching a VOD from Bueno stream. He finishes a build in like an hour and ten minutes. I was like, how the hell do you move so fast, man? These are Durfee two subs. Moto R2 delayed again. Dude, all GMK is delayed, right? You still need a lube with Holy Mod. FC Mod, Epsilon Mod, you don't technically have to. Some people are like, I did Epsilon Mod and I lubed and it worked great. I'm like, that's the whole point of Epsilon Mod, not to lube. Plastic shortage, <laughs> everything there's a shortage. PP shortage, wait, what? The thickness of the band-aid matters. Or the thickness of whatever layer you use matters. So just worry about thickness. Also, PCB will have flex cuts, I'm pretty sure. I use inks with palm plate. Bushido was pushed back from Feb to August. Dude, my JTK Zen was supposed to ship in October 2020. It's been eight months. Radio silence. So, safe to say, I'm a frustrated individual. Endless 80? It looks sick. There's a little bit of a hollowness with it. But if you do the case foam and PCB foam, I think it sounds pretty good. But that's personal preference thing. Some people out there think uh, foaming boards is bad. 
Okay. Yeah, you still 205G0, the, the Styles and Holy Money. You can watch the VOD I, I did on screen. I don't have a high pitch board. I would if I had it, but... If you listen to the sound test of the UTD360C on my YouTube channel, that is a high pitch black. Or anything with Telios on my channel. Then you can pair it with everything else, like an ink is not high pitch. Remember when GMK GMK did address the lead times? This is what they fucking said. They said, we have one intern, and the intern went on vacation, and the intern was responsible for all the coordination. I was like, hold the fuck up. What? You had one intern in charge of critical infrastructure for your company? You can't, you can't throw an intern under the bus. The f Huh? So they, so they did address it. That's what their address was. <laughs> TS66, uh, it's a sandwich mouse, so it's not too high pitch because I use FR4. But with Brassplay, I'm sure. It's that same intern that accidentally emailed all the HBO Max users. It's always an intern, dude. Because they can just throw an intern on the bus. It's funny. TX65V2 is a sandwich mount. Mode is not, so it's very different. I don't know what we're gonna get on this board. Hyperglides are not low pitched. I don't know about Buck. GMK literally don't care at all. Yeah, they don't care at all. Thoughts on Helios? That's the silence, right? I don't really care. For them. MX blacks are loud, especially on aluminum plate, but some people love that sound. I personally. Okay, here's the thing. High pitch clack sounds nice, but I can't daily it. Too balky and it just doesn't have character and then I get bored of it. So like you have to come up with something in between. And for me, I really love JWK Giant V3, which is a full nylon JWK. I think it has more nylon than some oh of the switches like God, Banana Splits, Wolfman Warden thing for the tier one. What else? Um, Fierce Girls. Those have like they, they say they're like not full nylon housing, but it's like very close to regular JWK. Keycaps are not their main business. Holy, like, holy bubbles, any kind of those big tactile switches, big tactile bumps, I get tired of them. I did labs on FR4 in the iron, I didn't like. My labs are lubed and filmed in a box, or in a bag. But then again, the iron just didn't sound great. I have the Neapolitans here. I just have to lube them. They're supposed to be like Zekos. I'm just going to lube the stem. Dude, it's, there, there is no intern. No shot there's an actual intern that I blame. It's just an imaginary person to so that they can be like, oh, we as a company are organized, but the intern, they took a vacation. Like you as a company decided that you made an intern in charge of everything. So maybe you as a company kind of dumb. I, I don't run companies though. I don't know. I don't know what you're supposed to do. That's why I just do stupid things on Twitch. Favorite linear switch is inks. There's a linear command. Linear is intact. Okay, so I need to grab Wob. Uh, I really hate... I hate testing stabs with like a scratchy switch. It messes with my brain. Some use that. I don't like. I don't like using scratchy sounds. I can't really isolate the sound. Hello, halos. No, I, I think I saw the IC for it. Dude, yeah. My problem is with uh with GMKGBs, dude. 
Vendors already took your money, so I don't like it. It feels a little tinfoil had to say, but th this, this is what happens, right? You buy a set, the money goes to the vendor. The vendor uses that money to make an order through GMK, right? So the vendor really, I don't think, has a vested interest to get you the, the keycaps any faster because they can't. So they just say it's GMK's fault. And GMK, apparently, it's not their main business to make key, key, colorful keycaps for uh, this small niche. They just like oh, it's delayed like the queue and the way they set it up and the, the amount of orders they're taking in they can't keep up with the demand and can't fulfill these orders in time so you as a consumer just get gg'd what do you, what do you can do you can't even do like a uh, paypal claim or a refund through your credit card because gbs last way longer than the 90 days or 108 days or whatever and that's my, my whole frustration I'm like this is super anti-consumer so I, I would wish i would hope the companies can do in stock keycaps and just front the uh the cost of these because you've seen you've seen some companies post like even my homies they've been able to go from a vendor they quit their jobs this year and now they have like an office building or like a warehouse and i'm seeing these companies that have been around longer they have these really sick office spaces and i'm like you're making fat dough is there something else you can do and try to hold more keycaps and stuff in stock I feel like there's different tiers because like GMK Laser and GMK White and Black have a different oh track for manufacturing. God, Shoot! Thank you for the seven months, man. Let me give a shout out to Shoot. Yeah, so like KBD fans has a few keycaps too that are. Where's my shout out? Button? Dude, it's not doing anything. That I think ha have a separate track because they, they can release a lot of EBT random stuff and cat like blinks so i'm not sure i don't know the back of it drop has a contract with gmk for manufacturing slots apparently is that true that's that's something i don't know about i just that's why i just buy stuff uh, from extras or from market if i really want it that just means that instead of buying three GBs that I'm kind of interested in, I buy one extras that I absolutely adore. And that I'll use for everything. We'll try to get as many mounting. I'm sending my unicorn back to be recoded. That's why I'm not using it right now. I like it. It's one of my favorite boards. Good balance of like aesthetic and sound and feel. Oh, Patreon. Sounds good to me. It sucks because we shouldn't support like Chinese copies and stuff, but when the main route, JTK, GMK, CAT, all is just fucking up heavy, these backdoor sets are going to seem a lot more appealing to people coming into the hobby. So I lube upon Crest, yeah, I lube and I charge a lot. Don't have me lube. I'll do it. You really want me to, but <laughs> it may be cheaper to still have me do it so you don't have to ship it to someone else and have them ship to me. You can get like in stock cat from KBD fans, but in terms of like the cat has colors, I don't know. I'm not sure. Two five G zero and X six G be easy. The leaf arms 
<laughs> they fucked up my elbow for the first few months when using it. So I got I got like calluses, I guess. I kind of wish I had the high, cause I'm not tall enough to be over the high. But the mid was the only one available in my company's my past company's silent auction, which is how I got it. How good the banana splits that JWK did. There's nothing special about them. Don't believe everything you hear on TikTok. GMK is definitely more too expensive for people whose boards are fifty to hundred dollars. In which case, if you're if you have like a fifty to hundred dollar board, you're tech, you're probably not deep into the hobby. In which case, just get the Chinese phones. But if you're gonna go post in like custom mechanical keyboard, like Discords and Reddits, subreddits, yeah, it's not a good place to be showing off clone keycaps. I'm not gonna shame you for using it if that's your budget, but in terms of like the reputation of the community, you're not gonna get it. I never built a Mark 65, but I didn't hear good things about it. Am I planning on getting this board for personal use? I I have it's hard for me to buy any of these boards. We'll see. It's cause I have a wedding this year, bro. And we're like 10 grand, 15 grand over budget. Where did this screen come from? So I'm probably, I like don't want to, but if push comes to shove, I might have to sell uh, one of my, my Alice board. Keyboard's great in the wedding. <laughs> I don't know about that. I don't have the G67. Well, I have. Uh, I can listen to it. I can tell you which one sounds better. But I don't. I don't have it built to take out. The element G67 somewhere in my house. I had to rebuild it with the Ante actually, which I've been slacking on. I do not have a TGR Alice. I have an Alice layout board. I don't own TGR. Oh, I, the unicorn it has a TGR on it. I think my la like if if I were to keep a keyboard, it would have to be a 60%. I think. I like small boards, which is why I got in. The Jelly Epoch Rebuild VOD is unlisted. I will put them into the VOD playlist on YouTube later. And the VODs have been wrecking my engagement and my numbers on YouTube, so I have to do different th do them differently. Yeah, I use it for gaming. I don't prefer it. I've been using my Juby mainly, but I took down the Juby just because I wanted to change. I wanted to see how this felt. It's pretty good. But the kind of like marbly sound people adore and kind of love. Ben, thank you for the rate of 12. Brickheads are here. What's a brickhead? Oh my god, we got two raids. All right. We got to dance for this one. Welcome, everybody. Let me put in this one switch. It's a big stream day because we are showcasing the mode keyboard. 65 custom mechanical keyboard. One second, let me fix this pin. T girls are so big. All right, one second, chat. All right. Oh my Welcome, everybody. God, my name is Andy. Sad. I build custom mechanical keyboards. I dance. I play games. I love tech. I have a SFPC. I know a little bit about headphones. I'm really into cameras. I have a videography business as well as the fact that I'm a full time content creator. Uh, please consider following, uh, subscribing, whatever. Every raid. For this one, I might combine it. I'll dance free. This marriage is going by quick. <laughs> Wait, are we married? So, I am a breakdance. I used to. I started breakdancing in high school, and I started listening to EDM in college. So my dancing was a little mix of both. I don't nay nay though. I don't know how to do that, and I don't know how Fortnite dances. So can't do that either. So let's mute this music. All right, what's next on the tracks? Uh, let's see. I'm not sure what this music is. This is a new song. Can you see 2022? Maybe 2022. I might, get, might be getting too old for that though.
no more raids. I'm gonna run out of breath. Welcome. Nothing gets knocked over. I just break my toenails. Thank you, Wara. We'll see 2022. I'm getting married 2021, so. I can't, I can't flip. Flipping is how I dislocated my knee in high school. Or trying. $20 dono is twerk. <laughs> you get TTS too, so. Make sure you make the Asian AI say twerk. The PCB looks whack. The PCB has curves. I don't know why. GMMK Pro get black ink. I wouldn't pay for that expensive switch for a GMMK Pro. It's gonna meet it out. They gave me MX Blacks. Desk keys are easier to install. Or t TX is easier to install for me. Deep breaths. Feel better. When are you guys marrying me? <laughs> There's a little bit more than a relationship that y'all can't provide. Here's some water already. What switch is the point in this board if I had the choice? I had to hear it first. Zero palm in the LS80. Santa's on my channel. That pay for future funk? How else would I get future funk if not for paying for it? What's up, dude? Tehel said he'd take a Kiko over a plane ticket to Asia. <laughs> it doesn't cost that much to fly to Asia, chat. <laughs> of course you take a Kiko for that. Go take go take the Kiko. Sell it for half market and get two of the three <laughs> tip the round trip trips round trip tickets to Asia. You'd rather spend money on a keyboard than traveling? He's just... That's what we call pandering, chat. He's just trying to make you all feel better so you watch more of his streams. It's a streaming technique. I highly doubt he would not want to travel. Highly doubt. Here, I'll just move it. It sounded muted because that's how the board sounds, bro. It's the mounting style. COVID-19 inspector says he's only been to Korea. <laughs> that's a funny statement from that username. Maybe he truly doesn't want to travel. Maybe. We have aluminum brass buttons. Traveling would mean losing money because he can't work. Okay, now that sounds a lot more honest. Maybe he's not pandering. Maybe he honestly believes that. The reality is Twitch streamers don't make money unless they stream. The passive income is not there. Which is why it's a little... Unfortunate, that's your only source of income. CF plate tactile is good. CF is not my preferred plate. I prefer aluminum. But since I love inks, I use inks on palm most of the time. He doesn't have paid leave anymore. You gotta think, you gotta have a growth mindset. You gotta think about what you can put into motion and how much more you can make if you are more focused after taking a break and traveling, experiencing new things, and bring that back to your audience at your work. Gambling sites are sus. Well, I have not seen. Yeah, I, I actually heard that people how much they pay. Fuck that shit though. Damn, I 
I just sneezed. Had to mute. Milky Toss, what's the bottom? Has more on the bottom. Some pop sounds good in anything. Oh my god, somebody subscribe. Decaf coffee beans. <laughs> Hold GME and MC chat. Hold. Add some sus comments, comment strain or comment chains on YouTube channel. There were a bunch of like crypto stands just commenting and talking to each other on a keyboard video, which makes no sense. It's all from a bunch of like. I don't want to say this, but it was a bunch of old white people commenting on a YouTube VOD of me building a keyboard. And I know my I know my audience, and it's not 40 plus balding white men. So I don't know what like led them to botch spam a YouTube video. But they're not my regular viewers. Mason, stop it. <laughs> I don't know. I I didn't. I just didn't like it. I put SP stars, which is a clocky switch, into a palm. I didn't into unwipe. I didn't like it. <laughs> is GPL the same as Super Lube when it comes to Lube Springs? I'm not sure. Is GPL an oil? I know in other countries it's hard to get like typical two five G zero. Health score said I'm definitely super bald, but I don't comment on YouTube. Yeah, you don't comment on YouTube. But thing is, like, they were commenting on YouTube with an unrelated topic. I think I had mentioned in the VOD one thing about me not investing in stocks because I'm not educated in it, and somehow their little bot algorithm found it. Austin GMK Fuji. I don't know, dude. It's the color. I don't know why people ask what. Uh, streamers think of keycaps. It's a color. <laughs> I mean, objectively, I can maybe look at the kidding, but I'm not that smart to look at kidding. I do have a Roth IRA set up. Hey, 40 plus balding white men can also be into custom keys. <laughs> they can be, but five of them together commenting to each other in the span of one minute? Probably not right. I watch anything but keyboards on YouTube. I watch. I've been watching a lot of one wheel stuff lately. Is that Ogre work, o works Ogre Endgame? A lot of people think so. So the space bar is actually mounted this way, makes it easier to uh, fix the wire if it's popped. Mode 80 versus Mode 65 opinions. How, how do you think I'm gonna have an opinion on the Mode 65 right now? Uh, do you see a build of Mo 65 for me? Is Mo is Ogre really deeply flawed, or is that some sus marketing to make sure people buy the next Ogre? The O-ring system doesn't work. Okay, explain what. <laughs> Mode 80 top, uh, top bezel is kind of large. It is true. I'm glad, Telebit. I'm glad you enjoy the videos. Hopefully you get value out of them. I need some. One point, I'm doing 6.25U, right? So I'm going to use these mods. Can I use these? These are right. I feel like these are small. I'll find out. Audible difference between hyperglass and vents, it just depends on how smooth they are. Please keep it away. Yeah, it's kind of big, so I need to move it out of the way, huh? I need to buy that. Uh, I need to buy the solder hole. I'm gonna do it right now, Jeff. I'm gonna do it right now. This is this is dumb. 
Wait, I don't have control anymore, stupid. You just took it out. Is it Omniwheel a different Omniwheel? Is Omniwheel one uh electric cycle? Where's the where's the Hakko holder? I find one wheel is fun. Electric unicycles have more power. Buy right now. Put it off so you don't see my Addy. 2540? Fuck it. Prime that shit, baby. Yeah, I use the 3D printer one, but it's like I don't there's not enough heft for it. For it to even hold down TS80. So yeah. Bot. Not like botting, but I just purchased. They may have another round of uh boards. I'm not sure. They told me if I want if I wanted Titanium, it would have been a longer wait. I feel like that doesn't serve you guys. So I was like, just give me the one that comes out faster. So then I end up with this black one. Sag that I didn't get the pretty colors like everybody else. I just got the plain old black. But yo, I'm all about sound. So we can hear the sound together. Three point five grand. If we're talking about grand, I'd rather have an, a bike. The bikes be looking kind of juicy. Will the CF plate have a 7U layout? Yeah, it's right here. You can use 7U. I just put a switch on it. Black is classy. Nah, RGB is classy, bro. Correct yourself, Dave. Just kidding. Seven U or six point two five U preference? I think six point two five U looks better on sixty five percent. There is a PC mode sixty five. There's an extra cost add too though. I think it's like twenty dollars more. Yeah, I I tried to I bought some uh, LifeX strips or whatever. They were whack. I'm gonna keep saving up for the uh, other ones. Those tubes, the four foot tubes. RGB is new money? That's true. I'm not classy. What the fuck? Okay. Hold on. I, I think I messed something up. I think I messed something up. Wait a second. Nah, I, 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 yeah, that's me. That's me. My bad. That was all me. Other PCBs will work on this board. Why do you need other PCBs to work on this? Board? Riddle me that. Tell me why you'd want to use another PCB on this board. They have hot swap. They got solder already. What are, are you taking the PCB away from another board? You want to put it into this one? PC boards are great as long as you don't look at them too closely because they will get scratches. I haven't looked at my rookie up close. I don't want to. <laughs> Same thing with stainless steel backs. If you look at it too closely, <laughs> it's not going to be a good time for you. You're going to cry. Oh, we got some swatches in. I just, since this is 6.25 of you, I just use the same keys. Oh yeah, that's that's a nice and grindy hyperglide right there. Oh yeah. Man. <laughs> Can't hide my preference. Godas is now making- wait, wait, wait. Oh, wheels, you need to tell me 
where I can get these Chinese version of Chinese lights because I, I got I got a bread budget <laughs> Gib Oh reflex switches are just like you other kids Only two foot version? No, that's small PP OBOs. You need four feet. Why do why have this big when you can get this big? Bigger better. We need better. I use hyperglide to scratch you while loot. There's a special cherry MX clack that some people like. I ain't some people. I I, I like the smooth, please. Give me the smooth. This isn't any cheaper though, bro. This is Wait, 10 inch? Even smaller? No, no. Here you go. Oh no, that's four pack. Wait. The app does suck. Pretty sure it sucks. Where's the non light non light two feet top of. The price is like the same thing. What? Is this RGB? Yeah. Bro, how 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 is Godox more expensive? That's bang good to send me those pole lights people have. I need tube lights. Tube lights are the most aesthetic. I mean, I don't need it. Like, honestly, my like $60, $80 uh, light in the back, it's not doing a bad job. I make it work. It's not looking, it's not doing a bad job. Better app. For like streaming, it's pretty static. I guess if you're working on a production set, then yeah, better app would be more useful. I don't really need to change. I'm using a. Let me look up my order history. It's a Yango. Get a floodlight? Wait, what? <laughs> Those aren't RGP, bro. Whoa, it went up to 120. It is more expensive. RGB floodlights exist. Nangguang 4 foot RGB 2s for shoots. Nangguang 4 foot. Now they're about the they're, they're about the same too. But I can get it from Sammy's. Sammy's is in nearby. What's up, Godspeed? Yeah, this is cheaper, but it's not a tube, so I'm using it to spill. I would rather have a tube, like, as a practical light, like, literally in the frame. And he's heart rate increasing as he window shops gear. <laughs> Yo, damn, it's leaking. Ike Spans? Isn't the Ike Spans, like, hella out of stock in the US? There's an Ikea tube light that's, like, white only. Teha uses uh, something I can't afford. <laughs> Teha uses the good good. He uses the... He uses lights people rent, bro. Frost, I, I looked into that and then I thought about it and I said, fuck it, I don't want to do this. <laughs> it was too much work. I bought it too. And I looked at it I was like, this is going to look so shitty. I'll keep that up. Uh, wait, no, that... I looked at... I looked at Nangguang. Hold on, I didn't pull it up. That was actually something else. Oh, bro, that hurts. <laughs> Four thirteen. Ah. JWK for F four plate. Love you too, killing. Taya's equipment is insane. It is insane. I'm more about balling on the budget, make it happen with less money. That's my vibe. That's why we do things. But I draw a line. Y'all doing the PE, PE foam, and taping your PCBs. Making me do stupid shit like that too. <laughs> I, I got some PE foam. Apparently I got too thick. Someone sent me some thinner stuff. Alright. We are an hour and 40 minutes. Let's get to work and stop talking shit. I'm gonna disconnect this and not fucking. Oh shit, I dropped my USB. 
Uh, no plate foam. Does he? Is there even plate foam for this? I thought the stack mount has silicone and burger. We're gonna try to try all the mounts. Goldox TL60. I just lost my keyboard, so. Yeah, can you tag that in content creator help in the server? Like, drop any light suggestions in the content creator help channel on the server. I'll take a look at it. After I took away my keyboard, so I don't melt my shit. Get a cheap tube light by Quasar Science. Quasars are the expensive ones, but I want a four foot. And Quasar four foot is. Hurt. Okay, play foam ships. Let me look at the box before I, I commit to soldering. I really don't like play foam though. Alright, let's board. Purpose of life. I have a review of the eleven G six seven. Yeah, I don't think I have any play foam. Aqua King's blind. They stick. The stems are too large and inconsistent, so they stick and grind against the top housing when uh, depressing. Yeah, there's no foam. I don't have... So I think this is all we got here. I looked at the LifeX beams. I can't... I can't nail it to my wall. Oh. Shit. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I can't nail it to my wall because it's like paint on top of whatever is in, in the back. I can only nail. So I'm thinking with a with one of the one of the tube lights I can just put it on a tripod or something and stand it up. Or figure out a way to nail it to the wall. But those uh LifeX beams, you need to use uh double sided whatever tape. Nah, not I don't like nanolies. Nanolies are very one use, which uses a background light, whereas the tube lights can be used for shoots. Tube lights work very good as a key light. Or just a more portable light, especially when I'm doing my video shoots. I remember I'm a videographer, not just a streamer. Now, 3M mounting tape will strip the tape. What oh, gives me purple halo? Uh, that's a Yangnuo 360. Just grab one of the wall for the shoot. Yeah, I'm gonna grab a nano leaf and plug it and just. Use that for a for video shoot. <laughs> no. Can you guys drop this in the content creator? Whatever. I'll, I'll try to copy and paste. Use my mouse. So I don't forget. I don't have an enter key. These are strip lights. Those look pretty cool. Tube is great for like a lot of uses. Whereas like, think about like having what are those things? The glass tubing. I forgot what it's called. That's definitely great for a background, but utterly useless anywhere anywhere else. Brass bottom won't change the feel, but should change the sound. Neon neon lights. There we go. My brain dumb. Oh my god! Some four bricks. Anything for tier one? I appreciate it, man. Welcome. Uh, Nvidia broadcast. Where you at? How do I think I would change it? It's different. Honestly, most of the time, brass bottoms sound worse than aluminum bottoms. According to my experience with the Bauer, anyway. It's in my kit command, Sarah. It's blue, just like this one. Oh yeah, I love most PCBs. They use some kind of like finish on it. That makes it hard for me to solder fast. No, sh no shade, it's just I like soldering fast. 
So I have to leave the iron on there longer. It, it's just like it takes a while. It slows me down. You had a bower. It's fine on the second bot uh, build? Yeah. I remember that. The first one's slow though. Did you see a clear solder mask option? Uh, for what? I didn't order this. They, they sent it to me. I just don't know what the actual, like, specifics behind it is. I just know that when I solder moder solder mode PCBs, it takes longer. Brass is an alloy of copper. Okay, I didn't know that. Thanks for teaching me materials, fam. The one command I didn't try. Yeah, sorry. So people said like most streamers use kit, so I changed it to kit. They had hundreds of limited pieces because of clear solder mask. What difference does a clear solder mask make? You don't know if you get mode 65 or not? You can wait for me to finish building it. I can help you out. I've seen a few boards. Orbix says, I heard you and Hippie were nice at Valorant. <laughs> yeah, we can run it. I feel like my audience, like most of you guys watch Valorant over any other game. Y'all obviously don't give a shit about me playing Overwatch. It's just my favorite game in the world. It's okay. I only cry myself sometimes. Cry myself to sleep sometimes. F2 looks hot. Frost loves Overwatch. G4, thank you for being kindred spirits. Hot swap mode 65 or solder? Get solder. Well, it depends. Potato, is this your first board? If it's your first, run a hot swap. Or do both. Get a hot swap and a solder PCB. So you tr test things out with your hot swap. Then when you get comfortable and you know what you like, solder into it and use your hot swap as a backup PCB. Milmax gives you more layouts, but it also requires you to buy more sockets. I'd watch everything over Valorant. Dude, honestly, watching Valorant's kind of boring but I think there's a little bit of satisfaction when your streamer hits a sick flick and you get hype with them I'm just trying to understand streaming dude I don't stream games you if you're buying any GB board or any pre-order board always get a second PCB always you need to well actually for mode they might have it in stock later But like anything else, like a regular GB, you gotta have that extra peace of mind. Long and short TX stem, you mean fill, uh, springs? Frost, why do you think it feels boring now? Alexa, Chaos, Element G67. I like the Element G67 a lot because of the low front height. D60 light is a 60. So narrow down your choice between like 60 and 65 first. There's just a f there's just a nice experience of soldering into your, into your own PCB. Some people say the sound is better because there's like less holes or whatever. I think it's minute. I don't think it really makes a big difference. So long springs have a heavier actuation weight. What that means is it takes a little bit more force to start the process of actuating a key. Which, practically speaking, helps reduce typos. Summer Vicky, thank you for the raid of one. Wait, does a, does a hot swap not have flex cuts? Can someone confirm that? Soldering is relaxing. As long as you have a fan and don't give yourself a headache. It doesn't. Ooh. Right, four bricks. Thank you for the five gifted. And we've hit the next tier for dancing. I like just started relaxing, just like Dave said. And now we're not going to relax anymore. I appreciate a break. Hot swap can't use half plate? Yeah, no, don't hot, hot swap half plate. Mill Master Flex Cup PCB? You can. 
Okay. Okay. Here's the guy. Listen to the song for a little bit. Let me let me hear what's going on. Look at oh, it's pretty much consistent like this. There's no real drop. Heart rate, it's there. It's just like small. Is my heart rate still at 116? Am I broken? Oh my god, I'm broken. Why is my heart rate so high? Just because I know I have to dance? Oh shit. I'm broken. Give me a second to catch my breath. I've never been to NAB. Oh my god, somebody subscribe. Thank you for the T1JN. Black Cut, Flex Cut. What's my heart right now? Refresh. The app sucks now because they want me to pay. It's 122 now. Thank you for a break. <laughs> I hate it when the music doesn't have like ups and downs. So it's just like a constant speed of sweat and energy. It's still fun. Carbon fiber is stiffer. I want a dog. There will be a big difference between having no flex cuts versus flex cuts with the palm plate. Palm plate is flexible plate. All right. It takes so long to heat up this pad. What well, subgenre is my favorite? I got into hard style, but it's really hard to listen to hard style because it's so high energy. But I like house. I used to listen to trance, but like the definition of trance has been weird to me. Cause like back then when I was growing up in Garden Grove, Little Saigon, the A ABGs and ABG ABBs will listen to what I consider trance. Our current generation of EDM trans de de is defined differently. I like old trans, yeah. That mind numbing trans. <laughs> Palm plate on hot spot will be so flexible. Yeah. Depends. Uh, does the hot spot use standoffs? I do. I'm a power head. All right. We'll take a break while I catch my breath. Let's educate the people real quick on my old life. I swear to God, I need a smaller. I'm gonna swap to the Juby. Freaking, the, the, the jelly's just too big.
My cable fell too. Just... Excuse me, Pedker, you're not wrong. Don't call me f small in front of my friends like that. I know I'm small, right? I'm missing a serious because I took it out and we're going to use it on today's build. I only have a serious. Right All right. One second. I'm going to go to my playlist. Like techno, techno? It's a little hard to get techno. Where's the playlist? All right, here you go. You ready for this? That was not me. That's just that's just another Asian dude. That's not me. I'm I'm after him. You know where this room is? <laughs> Here's me. So, I may knew, I know, I know a few power moves. Just a few. I think I hit something else here. Where am I here? I think this is a worse set though. I'm in the corner right here. Thank you, the cacao. I, it's hard for me to hit that now. I'm too heavy. Bald Andy? I'm not bald, I just buzz my hair. Bro, YouTube dying? Come on, YouTube. Where am I? What the fuck? Was I even here? Oh, there's me. Obviously, I don't know how to do anything out of a flare. They turned me out of the video. You can see I use some of this. I tried to do some of the same stuff in here. Where's my music? Did it stop? Why is my music like muted? Huh? Oh, it's just like hella low. I need to go to NAB. I mean, I'm full time now, so might, maybe one's NAB. 2011 was 10 years ago, bro. Real. What's this? Oh, this is this is current state where I'm a little fatter and older. See, I'm much lower to the ground. I don't have as much flexibility. Y'all yeah, check it out. Sponsor be sick. Am I going to the Navajis meetup? Where is that going to be? Oh, thank you, Frost. Used to be strong. Price for a wedding? A little bit, a little bit. The fiance makes wants me to perform. I'm like, I'm not a monkey. It's like, babe, but my family wants it. I'm like, oh, fuck. not a goddamn dancing monkey, right? Yeah, I ain't going to Florida. Yeah, I'm going to Florida. And he's doing the Orient Gaskin Mount. Uh, worth it? Yeah, I like Orient Gaskin Mount. Breaks body at wedding. <laughs> Breaks body at wedding. Can't go to, uh, what is it? Honeymoon? Is in honeymoon on crutches. Got to show off to the in-laws. She wants to show off. What is this cable you see? Oh. Bro, this is the slowest. 
Y'all know about going East Coast. Y'all host a week meet up in SoCal though. You're supposed to break your body at honeymoon, not the dance floor. I'm gonna bring another pair of shoes for the dance floor. I gotta outclass everybody. One of my uh, groomsmen is a dancer too though. I'll be like, bro, for today, just just make me look good, alright? October 9th? Uh, October 9th, October 9th. That is the weekend before my wedding. And I feel like I'm going to a, a music event or a rave. I think it was just a concert. You be able to give me free registration. Hold on. Wait, let me check my calendar. Oh, 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 hold on. Hold up. Hold up. Everyone, hold the phone. Free? Shit, I'm. Be right back. I need to ask my fiance. Be right back. Be right back. Bro, I'm actually free that weekend. <laughs> but my fiance is like, why? Because I asked her, like, what weekend is it? <laughs> She's already pissed, bro. <laughs> I'll have to double check if I can actually go. Uh, You can DM me in the Discord or message me on... Message me on uh, Twitch. With their email. You gotta consult the management. I can't just be making plans, especially since it's the month of my wedding. Do I have any animal children? Yeah, I have a dog. He's walking around right now. Bro, these pads, they take a minute. Okay, that tolerance for the pipe key was a little tight. Yeah, I'm getting married this year. I'm old now, man. You've gone for years at NBA and CES. I always thought to myself, because I was a full-time engineer, like, I can't afford time off to go to that. Wait, is it the whole week, right? It's not just the weekend? Dude, that'd be sick, that'd be sick. Should I Twitch live stream it? <laughs> Just me being like, make it like more awkward by making, by like making it live. Well, you live in Vegas. Oh, sick, sick. I have a homie on Vegas too. He lives like further out from the strip. I was a civil engineer. Also, no, I was making less money than software. I started at three seventy because I go fast. But look at here. You see right here, right? Three seventy. Look how long it takes still. See, it's not flowing to the entire pad. That's such a long time compared to other PCBs. Now, my fiance would not come. I mean, if she, if she wanted to, but she has work. She may be able to work remote. Civil is cool. I, were, I had a, one of my clients at my last job with Disneyland, man. I went to Disneyland before I opened, but really it's not as sexy because I'm like underground and shit. And like, in like the area you don't see, and it's way less magical. So, yeah. But I went. 340C to avoid splash. Let's, see, let's try that. Let's see if it stops f f splash. I see a little bit of splash. 340 is like low though. How much I get paid yearly? Right now, uh, not much. But it was under 100k. My starting salary when I started civil engineering was 60 and the range is 40 to 60. Once you go to the city as a city engineer with a license, you can get over 100. Project managers get around 100 something, like 105, 110. 
but I didn't really get there. I was just a square peg in a round hole. I saw her with uh, whatever this Kessler is on my kit. You also gotta remember I have a cost of living in SoCal, so it's different. If I could get Pavel 2s or Quasar 2s free, that would make it so worth it. Because I've been wanting them. Like, yo, know, like, splashing on the wall is, is, is alright. But, all these, like, gamer streamers have, like, super nice lights in the back. And I also don't want to lug a 120D on a shoot. Freaking hate it. Building collapse in Florida. I heard about that. I didn't look into it. All I know is, all I thought was it was sad. What was the cause of the failure? I can understand the structural aspect of it, but I wasn't a structural engineer. Custom neon. If anyone has hookups for custom custom neon sign, I would love one for my wedding and one for the room. Sinking concrete failure. If it's sinking concrete failure, there's like a factor of safety that they apply to designs like that. Was it a freak accident where it was like a very small chance and it, that chance happened or was it poor design? I'm sure that's not in like the news article. Thank you, o Wheels. I appreciate it, man. Really, really. What can you do with a CS degree? A lot. Your CS degree is way more like flexible than my degree. There's so much, dude. Everything is evolved around tech now. I just looked on LinkedIn jobs last night because I was curious. I can get a job as a content creator, I can get a job as a photographer, a, a video editor, a videographer, I can get a job as uh, my engineering, different engineering roles, city roles. So for software, dude, there's a lot of like, it's it blends into marketing, apps and stuff, or like web design. Does going to a boot camp give you the network though? Because really, that's what college is for networking, right? Have you considered taking part time jobs in those jobs you can earn extra money for things? I do. I'm a wedding videographer part time. I, w I will film under Lynn and Jersa. Uh, Lynn and Jersa Cinema. So I film under this company. Oh, nice pebble. It is too much stress. It's very stress. But when I am, when I am on my own, figuring out my own bills. If it's a skill set I have, no matter what the stress, I gotta make it happen. I don't have, I don't have a, my family doesn't own a home. My dad doesn't make a lot of money. He, I don't want to say how much he makes, but right now he's renting a room in a mobile home to live in. And so is my sister. So I, unfortunately I don't have resources to tap into. I don't have a plan B, I don't have a backup plan. So I gotta make shit happen, even if it's a stressful job. The stress of wedding videos is way less stress than the stress I was dealing with in the realm of civil engineering. So this is more favorable because I can pick my own hours and I have the prestige of working under a very good company. This is one of the lead uh, wedding photo and cinema companies in Southern California. And you just gotta make shit happen. Like, what am I gonna do, bitch that people don't sub to me on Twitch? Nah, dude. Bitch that you, my YouTube numbers are down? Nah, dude, make it happen. If you can't make it happen, go drive an Uber. There's always ways to make money. But you can't fix lazy. Dog! <laughs> Why did I decide to do a wedding? Okay, let me grab the dog. So I'm putting the iron down so it can't flip. Oh my god, somebody subscribe!
Mm-hmm. Tell them how you feel. Yo. Oh, you shy now? You shy? Huh? Because you are a child. Oh, you, you quiet now? Raise your hand to speak. He is lazy. You don't do anything. Just sit here and bork. Bork, bork. Oh, you are? Uh, huh? Okay, show them your trick. Comfy? They're a chihuahua, they're just skinny. Because I, I took all the fat jeans. Alligator. Thank you for the five gifted. I appreciate it. His legs are like transparent, dude. Dog got offended with the I can't fix lazy comment. <laughs> Yeah, one of my goals is to make enough money to buy him a fucking house. Tell him to twerk. <laughs> Alright, to, to explain why I shoot weddings, I picked up a camera when I was in high school and I was like, yo, I really like taking pictures because I can't draw for shit. Taking pictures doesn't require artistic ability like that. And I started doing portrait photography and then iPhones got really good and then cameras got really good and I realized that when I got into the wedding photo space because I figured that's how you can make money, People can beat me by getting a nicer oh camera. So somebody, I picked up something. Phantom Ray, thank you for the tier one. And guy danced after this little message. And after that, I was like, you know what? You know what people can't learn? Video. I know that I can learn video and beat them. So I learned how to do video. So I figured wedding videography is harder. Oh it's a little bit less competitive. Subscribe. So I did better in wedding video where I was able to get much bigger contracts. Because not everyone with like a Sony A7 whatever camera can just beat me with eye autofocus. And it's been a way for me to earn a lot of money on the side while I'm still working because wedding video, wedding photo, you can do it on weekends while I work my full-time job as an engineer. So I've been doing this hustle for years. I graduated in uh, 14. I started doing wedding photo in like 15, 16. I've been doing that shit till now. I've been taking little breaks here and there, uh, but it's a skill set I've like curated and it allows me to have more money to be able to travel to buy nice things and hopefully give myself different avenues in case like losing my engineering job when i lost my job it sucks but i wasn't like bro the world is ending i can't eat i can sleep i tell them thank you for twitch oh prime oh my got somebody subscribe 2014 i graduated 2014. i graduated when i was like 20. There's no race, you just finished soldering? Bro. It's because I gotta keep dancing. It's y'all's fault. Y'all's fault. Let's see. Oh shit, that was loud. I just blasted your eardrums. Full time content creator, full time streamer. I do YouTube too. That scared me too. Sorry. All right, just, let's do this one. Did that like max out the decibels? That's like negative zero dB. I wasn't ready either. I'm sorry. I didn't look at my my go up I'm sorry. I, I apologize. Hey, wake up. All right, we're two hours. I haven't finished soldering. That's great. What the hell? Nah, this sounds black. Here, let me just look at Duck Maw. Duck Maw is pretty dope. Let's do this one. 2.5 later. I'll, I'll finish the piece we have to stand. The rest is just screwing, right? Don't worry, don't worry. I'll finish it before 4 hours. I think. Hopefully.
copper everywhere. on epidemic sound that's my requirement <laughs> nah okay thank you for the th two months jay thank you for the two for two months all right let's finish the keyboard Veins popping out of your forehead. <laughs> I'm committing to it, guys. And you love. Thank you for the Twitch Prime. Oh, okay, thank you for the 69 bits. Oh my god, somebody subscribe. Nip and whip and nene. I don't know how to do that anymore. First impressions is kind of light. Oh my god, somebody subscribe. I'm using my Apple Watch for heart rate. There's an app, health data server, and then it's. Pushing to a website it has an IP address, and OBS is pulling that site. I like the RE20 more than the Shure because it's a little bit more natural sounding. Depends on your voice. Shure sound kind of muffled. My RE320 sound a little bit like electronic almost. RE320 is just smooth. And I like the RE voice, uh, RE mics by Electro Voice more than the Shure because the sound signature doesn't change as I move back and as I move forward. The kind of tonality of the voice is very similar despite me getting further away. The volume is going to change, of course, but it doesn't like start sounding kind of. Thin and hollow, or thin back here, and extremely full up close. I do not clean it after uh, soldering unless it's like a big mess or a resolder. Do you like 65, Ninja? If you like 65, that narrows down your choices a bit. Alright, if you like 65, do you want a deeper sound or a higher sound? If you like 65 and they're all like 65s, kind of look at the aesthetic. Which one are you proud to have on your desk? Deep? Okay, so deep you want... You want a full gasket or top mount. One of my friends has an Adeli. Should I buy it to look at it? This board will be an upgrade over the Cave DC7 Lite. Carbon fiber plate, stutters. Isn't the Axe 60 the one that looks like super... It doesn't have like an actual Axe? This better than the Vega? I have doubts. Red, what was the question? What did I just read? Alright, let's finish the tops. Andy, what's your favorite 65? I feel like the Vega's the best all around. Has a weight. 
has a sound. It has sounds a little bit hollow on the left, which is something that happens with a lot of boards. I used the FFFF switches on a jelly, and it sounded pretty good. The full nylon. Sun 68 is unbuilt right now. I unbuilt the boards once I once I did do my like build stream of them because I don't have too many loop switches. I can just I remember the sound though. So the thing is you can do that comparison on your own. You'll see once I have which reminds me, I'm gonna need to turn off this mic. I will be recording the sound test from today's stream while on stream using the same mic as my YouTube. So the sound's gonna be consistent, so you can listen to it yourself. Rank H1s versus Tangies? I don't think there's a purpose in ranking switches. There was a difference between the triple F and quadruple F. I'm not sure what the differences are. I actually don't even know which one I use on a jelly. Lavers are not the deepest, but they're a good alternative from inks. I'd rather take mint linears over lavenders. How many decimats? One. I'm born in the US. I don't like lavenders. I do not have the Azure Dragons. Y'all want to switch comparisons? Shubes does a great job. Yeah, min linears at Dino Key Cells. There's diamond linears too, I have to look at it. My fiance is not bit. Any builds of marshmallows? I did with I did the Chimera 65 with marshmallows. Or someone else built that. That was like hella over lube, but people love the sound. I can't really tell if I liked it because it was so over lube that the feel was kind of gross. The sound was great though. But then again, over lube switches do sound great. Kind of wet, but great. Yes, there are diamond linears, fam. I don't think I stuttered. It's like a it's like the same thing as mid linear with unwiped, uh, unwiped stem. Is it weird to eat this cereal at 3 a.m.? Yeah, it's probably gonna be bad for your metabolism. Getting sugar at that late at night, you probably will have trouble sleeping. Kind of wet but great, it's us. Ink V1's kind of scratchy. Switches of the leaf. Make sure the the leaf is pushed pull all the way through the ha bottom housing. How do I like what? So I looked at so. <laughs> People are tripping out. I think the diamond is like unwiped top too. So mid linear is unwiped stem, right? People are saying uh, unwiped stems shrink. I do not think they shrink. I think it's the fact that the unwiped stem is loose. Not loose, but, but smooth. So unwiped as a material is smooth. Lower coefficient of friction. So if you have a, a stem made of entirely of that material, the top of it is going to be slippery as well. And that's probably why the cap is loose on it. Is it loose enough for you to for it to fall off in normal usage? No, I like I like stress tested it on a stream. No, it won't come off. It comes out more easily, but unless you like flick your keyboard from the side like this, it's not gonna come off. If you type like this, um, sus. Min linears do not need films. That's pretty cool about them. I tried it, it didn't really change the top housing wobble, nor did it change the sound.
I wouldn't get- I don't know, I have to try the diamonds. The millionaire is okay, but I still love my inks. And if I have like a bag of looped inks, what, like a few bags of looped inks, why do I get mints? The top stem should be different? Wait, no? Wait, you- wait, 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 wait. Wait, so you're saying the top of the- the stem is one piece. They're not gonna have a different material for the top of the stem and the bottom of the stem. The stem is the little cross thing that sticks out. I'm really confused, like, are they really gonna have two it's one piece, it's one mold. I have the Neapolitans, I haven't had time to try them yet. I tried on my plate, I don't really like it. It's closer to palm clay. Yes, ADP is a soldering iron. It's for my kit. Jolteon, thank you for the Switch Prime. Unless companies send me out switches or I find them very intriguing, if they're just doing more linears, I typically don't care. Switches are vendors' easiest way to make money. So for them to just pump out non stop, uh, not, maybe not the easiest, but it's a really easy way for them to make money. So for them to pump out non-stop switches, I don't think we ha all have that many boards. I took a few dance breaks, Jan. People are messing with me. I appreciate it. Unwipe is bulletproof? Wait, what? <laughs> Banana splits the palm plate? That's probably gonna be fine. I don't- I didn't love my SB stars, but I think some people like JWKs on palm. Stabilizer innovation. Yeah, stop spending so much time on just changing the material of a switch by like 5% and just fix the freaking stairs, bro. Oh, so that's why it's curved. Switches are made cute, fun to collect. Okay, I don't collect switches. Y'all crazy. Y'all got what? Just like mason jars of switches on your table? You could also print paper with colors and do that. I typically run with PC or aluminum plate. Y'all crazy, y'all crazy. I throw you know, like I put my keyboard box in uh, keyboards inside a foam case and I put it away. And the switches I have in Ziploc bags, I put them in a box. I don't want to see like maybe it's because of my job. I don't want to see my keyboard stuff other than the keyboard that I'm using. What are palm plates like? Uh Palm plates are like palm. I don't know how you want me to answer that question. Nylon plates make sense if you like nylon switches? I don't know. I feel like, you know how we like unwipe for stems and then we did unwipe uh, for switches? And it was kind of weird. Too much of the same material might not be too great. Hype types, thank you for the water break. Stabilized innovations I like to see. I just want them to stop taking them. Def crazy, but the hobby itself is kind of nuts anyway. Why draw the line there? For sure, it does look pretty. But for me, I don't like having extra stuff. I'm I, I'm like the world's worst minimalist, but I still have minimalist tendencies. As a builder, I have too much shit. I just literally have too much shit. Like, my... <laughs> my second shower, because I have a two-bedroom, because of this office. I, I had a rower in there, I sold the rower. There's like six keyboards in there. They're not ones I I use. They just ones that came in, and I like had to like do a build or a sound test or whatever, and then I just take the switches and the stabs out, and I just throw them in the fucking jar, because <laughs> they're like in GB and I can't sell them. I'll give them away if I do another subathon or something, but yeah, I literally have a stack of keyboards in my shower. I'm only hoarding a little. Mo65 PC connected. Yeah, Ninja, I, I got confused too. Yeah, the Element G67 because I did not use PCB foam sound pretty cocky. Okay, let's test it. But I will be building with PCB foam on everyone video. We do it with uh, anti plate. Yeah. 
cool. It remembers my window. There will be a review of the 65. It will be like, I'm trying to do it a little differently where it's not just like me talking about it. If you want have questions right now, I can answer them even without a review. Yeah, this is going to be a clocky one. Of course you'll get my opinion at the end of the video. That's why I'm here, man. The beep is from my other keyboard. Button. Cool, everything works. Is it worth the price? The price, this board, even before I build it, the main draw is how fast it can get to you. That is the number one thing. If you want to board fast and you're like, Maybe you have like a hundred dollar keyboard right now. You want to get something nicer. Even if this does not have the best sound ever, it's probably a recommendation. For you. Because fucking GBs right now are whack. Everything's delayed. Every GB I've entered is a year plus, and they always say like four to five months. Like, oh, sorry, there's a two month delay. Oh, sorry, we're still working on shipping. Oh, we have to do QC. Oh, this or that. Like, if it's so consistent, why don't you just give me a real ETA so I can skip entering? It's December now. All of them December. Still faster than regular GBs. Because right now it's the end of July, so like five months. That is like the ideal GB. GB uh, time. I got some small rates today. Like 10, 20. I think there was like a medium one. But nothing too crazy. I think y'all just hungry. And we got uh, we got tagged. We got boosted by modem cells. So that's why. Jamie asking, thank you for gifting out four. I swear to god, okay. <laughs> you make me dance again? How the f <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> if if you're mad that I don't have a billboard, blame blame the gifters. Uh, is SB Star White better than FF4 or the Palm? I would rather run on FF4. I just got here also, so I appreciate it. See. You're actually here today. It's all good. You can just. <laughs> the oh uptime is two hours and two and a half hours. Subscribe. I think the E White definitely has December, but maybe some other colors don't uh, don't have October. So I'm I'm lowering the sound. All right, we're gonna do a slider thing, right? There you go, see that? Eased into it, relax. Okay. My knees are killing me, but all right. Definitely almost kicked my chair. Tuck the knees, tuck the knees, don't kick the Herman Miller. Alright, alright, let's get back. Yo, know, I've been off my knees for like two days to heal, and y'all make me work today. It's all good. I appreciate all the gift of subs. Truly helping me keep the dream alive. All right, baby. Thank you, Aeon. I was on point with it. My man's out here smoothing crazy talks. <laughs> Makes me want to go to the club and spit game. Does that still work? Yo, people get thirsty right now. You might have better luck. We've been locked down, brother. All right, all right. Quick thing. When y'all say PE foam, this is what you're talking about, right? This? You're soldering this into your PCB? Yeah, I finished, sorry. This is what you're soldering into your PCB. Oh, 
Okay. Yo, wild. <laughs> All right. Should I send it back to mode and just like have this conveniently missing? It's the foam. They 3D printed the silicone because they didn't have like time to do the factory production. So I mentioned at the beginning of the stream. This is prototype. The silicone is just for testing. Gas in this back, man. So the silicone is screwed into the bottom. It's just not going to be 3D printed. Thank you, Ocho. It's magnetic. From bare cables. I have a matching wrist rest as well. The flex is drastically reduced when used. I mean, they always reduce his flex. Foam, foam always does that. Unless you have a million flex cuts like the jelly. Brass back alu top. I would do brass bottom. Maybe a different color alu back. I do not have PCB foam. They did not give me PCB foam. Why are you not supposed to cut out holes for the switches on the PE? Just use the switch and push it through. Alright. There's a bunch of holes for the uh, silicone. Showed you before, the back comes off like it is. Magnet. Excuse me. And that reveals the switch or the screws. There's four screws. It, it kind of, wait, it's on the top, my bad. It's on the bottom. It protrudes in a kind of like cheap looking way, to be honest, but it's covered by the magnet. Not a big deal. Flip it over. Grab your 1.5 mil driver. You can use the ones they give you. I just happened to grab this because it's easy to find because it's bright blue. I don't know why they, put, they didn't put the magnets wider out. Maybe so it's easier to lift open. The thing I don't like about using PE foam or anything to push it through is that you're definitely gonna have to do the wool dam method where you push the switch or you solder one pin, you reheat or reflow, push it in deeper to make it full full contact, and then you solder in the other leg. It takes a little bit longer to make sure that the switches are all the way tight with the PCB. Alright. So I unscrewed it. The back is magnetic. This right here, there's a hinge, same kind of thing as the mode 80. In this prototype, the hinge, you can miss the hinge. So when you put it back, you see how it came off? Now it's just a frame. It's really hard to get it in here perfectly. You end up missing it, there's a scraping, right? They told me that in the production run, they will have extra material here because they have to fix something with the with the, uh, the tolerances. So it won't fall through like that. But it's a little bit finicky. You got to get in there. So it's flush like this and then you drop it. And it works. Otherwise, drops like that. That sounds like hell, but I have to do that to the prototype to show you. And if they get mad at me, well, sucks. Because I gotta serve the people. They're, they're, I think they're fixing the uh, something inside the case because of... If you look uh, here, let me put that in properly. If you don't use a stack mount, there's like a little bit of a gap. You see that? There's a little bit of a gap. So they're gonna remove they reduce that gap. See? That's why I don't like it. It's so hard to properly do that. It's it's a flat surface, so it's not scuffed. I did this yesterday. But yeah, if you're <laughs> you can definitely Fuck the shit out of it. <laughs> but I wanted to bring that to your attention. Okay. PCB. So what we're going to do first is... Let me grab all the screws and stuff. It won't sound different. They're just like adding more material. So... I'll do black for this. I'll do brass for the other. So for now, we'll do black. 
So if they do not fix that gap, there's two things, right? The brass doesn't have that tolerance issue. And two, if you are in stack mount, you won't have that like gap. Just put it the other way then? How are you going to put it the other way? What? How are you going <laughs> to... What? How are you going to put it in the other way, bro? <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> that, that's harder, bro. That's going to be harder. It comes with two tips. I don't know what the tips are. It might be the same size. I think they have two tips for the same size. 1.5 mil. Okay, so let's put on the bump ones. Sound test has not happened yet. I'm still putting it together. Do you, does it look like the board is finished? They probably just are, are, are seeing an ad or something. Like, I don't want to miss it. The stream is almost over. It's full. And when I say this full, I mean me. Can't build a board in a reasonable time. I swear, I remember, I swear, I just go back to seeing Bueno's build. I was like, yo, did his stream scuff? Why is he done already? I went through, I looked, I skimmed through it. I was like, bro, he, he did stabs. He put in the switches. He put in the stabs. And he finished building and he sound tested. And he's done in an hour, 10, 20 minutes. I was like, what the fuck? Am I dumb? Yeah, we did both, man. Don't worry. I ain't got nowhere to be. I mean, I should finish in the next hour. Okay. ADD. Okay. Top mount. <laughs> Bro. Well, mounting styles have confused so far. Why you gotta remind me that I haven't done anything yet? I haven't done anything yet. <laughs> I'm straight up speed running. Me or Bueno? This is the world's slowest speed run. What bottom web am I recommending for this board? Brass. 100%. If you're going to commit to this, it's not budget friendly. But without the brass, it just feels light. It just feels light. Guys, nice. look at this. Just slide in. Okay. So. If, if you're if if you have a small penis, this is probably something you're used to. You uh, open up the the rubber and then you roll put it over uh, your pee pee, right? just like that. So it's good practice. Safety first. It's very helpful. Just to... sometimes it's too small, but if, if you take your time, you can get get in there. CF is always hot. Why am I so familiar with this? Hey, 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 I have fiance, so I'm doing something right. I love how it says first time chat and some people are just like, lol. <laughs> Nettie says, sweet, find some actual useful advice. What's up, Nettie? You guys gotta check out Nettie. His streams are hilarious. Where's, where's, the, where's the button for Nettie? Just talk. Huh? No? Nah? Oh, there you go. Press the button. Press the button. There you go. They had two. I spammed it. He's like OVS master, bro. And he's actually really good at Apex. I remember watching him do an arena. And then I was like, oh, bro, it looks so easy. I went into the game. I got bodied. I'm like, um, this game sucks. Dude, okay. Right, my condom came off. Dude, I didn't know my PP was that small. Shoot. Okay. Silent. So with this, it's actually easier than O rings because you try to align O rings and they come off. This one wraps around almost like the jelly mount, but thinner. We're going to top mount this with this. I don't want to do regular top mount. I'm actually, if I run out of time, I want to do at least this out of, out of all of them. Won't fit. What the? F How? Oh, there's a slot back here. It slots in this way. Okay. Let's see. Um, this is. Um, some something wrong here. Shut it. Slipped off a little bit. We readjust all the rubbers. Cool. No, there's a, this is part of the stack mount. This is considered a gasket. But there's PCB foam too, which I do not have, so it can't do a true uh, stack mount. All right. Now we get these little screws.
Yellow condoms. Use yellow condoms so we can see it better. You want me? Okay. Okay. All right. That. Since I'm not doing the other plate. For educational purposes, I'm using yellow trojans today. Okay. No, no magnum up in here. That was comment flash in Andy's hand. Oh my god, it's 2021. You can't be making jokes like that. World's slowest build stream. Come here for entertainment. This is like this is pretty much the ideal. Dude, I'm shaking because of all the the ideal config, I think. If the space bar is loud, I have a trick. I will run it stuck. I'm <laughs> thank you. Neo Element G67 seems better. Dude, honestly, I really like the Neo Element because it has a low front height. 17 mil front height. Does anyone know the front height of the Mo65? Having a hard time can't see against my hand. Hey, stop it. Do they make any difference? Uh yeah. Mm, depends on. I don't think so, because O-rings with the Savage 65, there's like a little recess for it. I mean it'll limit the vibration, but in terms of changing the sound, I'm not sure. Okay, see it now? Screwdrivers. Sc screws. Holy Panda switches poppy sound, run aluminum or brass, friend. Brass Holy Panda is kinda kinda nice. Run that. Where did this where are these small screws? Okay, there's there's two screw lengths and I'm confused. Let me see. Four. Is there another small screw? If I have six of these small screws then it makes sense. A five. That's huh? The fuck? Hold on. So I have it's it's under the chat, but I have four. I have six of these longer screws. So I'm gonna do that, I guess. Longer screws. Let's hope screws. Small screws to daughter board. Okay. So there's an extra. Okay. Come on, catch, catch. Don't make me look dumb. There we go, it caught. Best silent linears, uh I fucks with Gazoo's boba gums. It's kind of a hot time for keyboards, right? Kinda hot. Anything Gazoo's pog. Jamie Epstein gifted a sub to to obscure what a flex. Thank you. Yeah, so I, I like his use switches because of tolerance. Uh, the manufacturing is very clean. So what you get is a switch that doesn't really need lube, lube for the stem sliders or housing rails. So you can just do the spring. 69 total gifted subs. Nice. Congrats, Copley. Uh, okay, now we hinge. Oh, so that's another thing. So if... Oh. It won't scuff that bad when there's a plate inside. So that's good news. God, that sound is horrible. Will it fit? Bro? 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 Fuck, I hate that sound. I got it in. Don't forget the tile daughter board. Ooh, right, you're right, you're right. It's not, it's like not tight. It's just weird tolerances there. Screw it. See? Chad knows everything. I don't know. Anything. You're just an idiot with a solder iron. So, more of the story is don't get too curious about how it looks with swapping plate. Or uh, put a piece of swapping back. 
I'm sure the tolerances should be tight. For the stack mount, you're right, 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 you're right. It just looks like I there's a little bit of a gap where the stack mount would lift at the back that I do not have here. So So it's like going lo below the slot. Get in the Come on. With daughter boards, you isolate the, the PCB. So if you have a flexible design, your PCB will go up and down. It won't line up with the USB C port. USB port. But with a daughter board, it separates it. So you can uh so you don't have that issue. And also if you have hop swap and you don't have a daughter board. Some of the switches will have to be flipped for the USB C. For the USB. And when they're flipped, they have different sounds. That's why. How do I like my AV3? I built it and it's okay. Doesn't sound as godlike talky as we thought it would, but it's slightly deeper than regular Switch Couture Alice's. Yeah, daughter board should definitely be more common. How do I like you? Like you a lot, Eva. You only get full black 65. I have a brass black too. So what I'm gonna emphasize or focus on is to run the sound test with full full aluminum and then swap both for brass. And then we can try to do the pseudo stack mode. I really like the sound sound and feel. LED light bar is kind of sick. So I have Hangul mix in here. Do I hate myself? Yeah, I do hate myself. Okay. The back is magnetic. Dope, I hate myself. Bro, that scratch is too. I hate myself, yay! Yay! <laughs> Absolute horror we're experiencing right now. So that gap does affect sound. That's what you're hearing. Remember I told you? Oh yeah. It's that it's this back piece. Let's right, open it back up. Yeah, the back piece. Need some help. The bottom, not the back. Prototype thing, baby. Is it the back piece? Did I not screw? It's looking like it's gonna need the silicone. Yeah, definitely here. Okay. I'm sure I screwed in the plate, alright? Alright? Don't remember the first time I did a mode 80 stream? <laughs> oh fuck, that was horrible. Oh god. Just forget that. Okay. So what is it hitting? No, the plate screwed in. One more time. One more time. I'm a professional. It's P R O. But I'm also concerned. Oh my god, somebody. I also did yeah, I did a speed run two two old eighties one night. But obscure said just do stack mount with alu and then ISO top with copper. Yeah, we can do that. 
So since we're doing alloy, we do need to get bottom ground. Yeah. So that's probably what I'm hearing. So let's do that. Screw. I think Jacob mentioned this, but I thought it would work. It won't. Thanks. I'm scared. That, is it time to dance? No. What? Huh? No. We just did. Wait, dude. No. No. <laughs> My mic is sounding whack. Uh, is. Why does it sound whack? Noise gate? Did the noise get too high? How about now? So it sounds like I will not be able to do top ISO with aluminum. Now that I remember my conversation. Oh, it's the gate. It was actually the gate, thanks. I can't find the hole. Where do I put my screwdriver? Just need to open up the hole a bit. I'm talking about the silicone. Get your minds out of the gutter. What the hell? My mom was watching the stream. Don't get me in trouble. Bro, come on. I'm building a keyboard here. You're trying to trap me. People are under 18 here. Oh, my mom's not here. I'm Kevin. You know what? This is also made out of silicone. Bodily enhancements. Plants, yeah. All right. Okay. Now we do. Now we do. Okay. Uh. Wait, no. Fuck. Can't do it backwards. I gotta do it from the back, but not backwards. Oh. That is okay. That's why you need to screw in the silicone because this is assembled from the behind, bro. If you don't do this, you can't, can't do the, you know, you know this motion, guys? Who's an adult? Just kidding. I'm not, but I'm kidding. Bro, I gotta comp compress heavy with that silicone, though. Yo, there's gonna be, that's gonna be tight. Oh my god, somebody. What are you guys talking side? about? Trade you one thing for the Twitch Prime or the tier one. Big baby, thank you for two months. Stinky little. <laughs> yeah, I gotta do from the back. Normally, you're screwing things from the top. Or you don't have to do that hinging thing. That hinge right there is gonna get, move it out of place. Mr. Nguyen, your mom is watching the stream. Stack doesn't use the plate screws, I think. It's not. Yeah. Wait, what did Mo what else here say? So is this stack then? Like full stack? This is just an index card box. Can you use foam for the isolate mount? So this full stack, so I need to take out the screws? Bro, this is gonna take forever. Okay. You should remove the plate rubber and do the top mount when using the case foam or just or just stack mount. Choose stack would eliminate the screws, but you can do either way. Okay, if we can do either way, let's just do this. Since I already have it closed and people are thirsting for some kind of sound test. And we can move through the com combos. You want to see the seam? Yeah, I'll show you the seam after I screw it back. My motion is upside down. <laughs> nah, there's two angles, bro. There's two angles. It's not just one. Preference, baby. It's all black. I got. I have the brass 
back and the bottom as well. Okay. Smack it in there. You want to see the seam? I need a refresh. Fucking app sucks. Ba -ba -ba. Bro, my heart rate 74. There we go. Cannot believe I mix Latin and hu oh god, Hangul. Let's put this back in the bag. Okay. This one? Am I gonna build the Alzord? No. If I don't look at it up close, it sounds pretty good. Space bars. So much. Mounting style is like, it's like a, it's, it's not full stack, but it has the silicone. I just flatline a BPM. <laughs> Los. Am I able to put the brass plate on? We can do it later. I gotta run it with the aluminum first because that's the most important one. Because that's the $300 price. Now this, with the silicone ain't flexing at all because I had to screw in tighter to compress the silicone to make it close. I have two 6.25U because I took it from GMK Beached. Maybe I should have prepped the keycaps before, but I'm not. I'm not very smart. It definitely needs a rerun. I'm shining the shit out of this one. The silicone's an extra twenty dollars. Oh, that's true. True. Didn't think about that, man. Yeah. So the base is just top mount. Do you have to buy the triangle condoms? I think that should be included, right? So I think the Neo G G67 is worth $700. If you have to ask, you can't afford it. If you have to ask if a $700 keyboard is worth it, it's, you're not the market for it. Easy answer. Flex is really awesome with half plates on TS stream. Dude, I love half plates. Thoughts on clone clean caps? Don't buy them. Leaf mo Leaf 65 versus mode 65? I had some people like the leaf, but I don't. I have never touched it. I've been asking myself if a hundred fifty dollar keyboard case is worth it. If you keep hanging out with these streams, you're gonna end up buying at least a hundred fifty dollar keyboard case. ISO top mount with aluminum bottom. I can't sharp. I physically can't because of the tolerances in the proto. You need the silicone minimum. Or else the bottom is gonna move around. We just saw it. I was gonna do a nice top right now. Wait, wait. Do you say with brass with alu uh, alu bottom? You can't. It just won't work. I don't know what you want me to say about a key keycap set. I I just looked at it. I didn't love it. If I loved it, I would have tried to buy it. But there's no keycap set that looks good enough for me to be willing to wait a freaking year. No shot. No. I know Jacob said specifically that the aluminum one, they're fixing all the aluminums. That that's why there's no more uh, August shipment. So I don't maybe he didn't mention it or maybe when he built it he didn't really hear it. 
But 100% was there. Y'all saw it. This is a CF plate. When he did aluminum, he used silicone? Yeah, I'm using the silicone right here. You have to use the silicone. At least for these, uh... These aluminum bottoms. It's, it's a tolerance issue, we can't just pretend it doesn't exist. They're fixing it though, for the production run. It's just... I can't do it unless you start. I start foaming it with something. And there's no point in me foaming it if it's not part of the config of that board. I don't think hotspot makes a big difference in sound. When you lose the Kohaku raffle, you consider the mode 65. I, I love your optimism there. I don't like the Aluvia keycaps. Why? I don't. I don't. I wouldn't want to use a full aluminum keycap set. Okay. So I need to put some keycaps. Some keycaps up here. What makes sense? I feel like I took things out that would have made sense here. Delete page up, page down. I want those two. Enter. I need enter too. I don't like EBV, ABS. There's some like weird clicking issues with it. Okay. Oh man, that page up is scratchy. Can you tell I don't like uh, retools <laughs> or hyperglides or whatever you want to call them? Where's the delete key? MX sandpaper switches. <laughs> I don't know. There are some keys in here that sound pretty good. I will say that. It's just like as a whole, when you run into something like that, you just want to throw the entire batch away. Like burn it all. Burn it all. That's it. All right, first sound test, three hours in guys. We're making great time and I feel bad about it. Don't worry, you'll have escape. You're not ready for this. You're absolutely not ready for this. You're just not ready for this. You think I forgot? You think I forgot? Wait, did I open the wrong side? No, no, no. No, no, no. Yeah, wait. You think I forget? Forget. You? You doubt the wing? Get the hell out of here. Okay. Continue. So, no issues with the tolerances this time. There's like a bunch of shit over there, hold on. Just make it tight. There we go. Is this sound test time? Thanks. Yeah, there's ISO top with the. Uh... Hold on, I need to switch the mic. Can you hear me now? Okay, you can hear me now.
How's that deformed looking cable? What the fuck is wrong with you? It just got twisted here. The tray I have is by Bear Cables. All right. While we do this, while we wait for the votes, I want to take this time to thank my channel sponsor, Surfshark. You need to get a VPN. We talked about condoms today. You need to pay action online. Hit the VPN command. VPNs are very useful for playing games with your friends in different countries, watching Netflix shows in different countries, hiding your IP address so your ISP doesn't know what you're doing. Because your ISP can send you an email like, hey, stop downloading that sus stuff. Or we cancel your internet. And I have gotten that email before. So don't don't do that. Surfshark also also has unlimited devices. It's one of the top three VPNs. I researched it. Don't I don't take no scuffed VPN services. I used private internet access before. Surf Surfshark is a little better because it's unlimited devices. And if you use the uh, code in the bottom. Or the VPN command, it uh, helps me out. They, if I can keep getting more of these sponsors, if they continue sponsoring me, then I can do more stuff for you guys. Maybe I can buy other keyboards instead of just complaining about how GBs never never finish. <laughs> yeah, consider supporting me by signing up using the link in the VPN command or the link in my Twitch profile. I don't have the mode 80 to compare it to Gummy Bear. Can't get over the seam on top. Yeah, that's actually pretty visible. All right, so this sound test is gonna be very comparable. It's the same microphone that is micro and setup that I use for my YouTube videos, which is more accurate. Always check multiple sound tests for sure. The suppression is off, so you should hear my PC whirring now. Shotguns don't really isolate. Where's my browser? That's big. How do I do a sound test without typing on the monkey type, man? I'm using a deity. It's a, it's a mic I, I link in my YouTube videos. All right. So this is the Mode 65 with a carbon fiber plate. I have like the top mount with the, what's it, the, the burger mount, like slip on things with the screws and a silicone, be aluminum bottom and aluminum back, full aluminum. This is like the $320 config with a silicone bottom. There's no PCB foam. Duroc V2 stabilizers lube with 25G0 and a 6 BDZ, holy modded spacebar.
Yeah, I can hear the hollow sound enter for sure. I point this mic back up because now I am using a shotgun mic for the stream, I guess. Uh, my thoughts. Let me pay this out though. Believers, rise up. Flexibility test for sure. Uh, it's not moving. <laughs> it's not. It's just not. It's just not moving. No, that silicone. That's that's rigid. A hyperglass is supposed to be high pitch. It depends on the build. So this ball right here, you know, I we talk about this one. We use this mic in my mouth, man. Like it's just like B big B big 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 B microphone B B B B M. It's all up in my mouth. Jesus, how do I get? This? How do people do this? They they go like, they do a high, right? They stick it up. Here. Oh, I hit the other mic, and then they turn it down. Now I'm now I'm Merlin. This is how Merlin uses. He has a prototype. Uh, it's actually pretty solid, but you need that silicone. Well, I feel like that deepness is coming from the silicone bottom. The silicone bottom is probably what's making the hyperglide just super thick and deep. I can't really do it without it. So now we are swapping to... It has some flex without the silicone. Yeah, the silicone is definitely eating the flex. Stack mount for thock, 100%. Oh, guys, like you see that shine? I game with these, by the way. Magnetic brass, magnetic plate on. Yeah, I can do that. Easy. All right. All right. We'll do another sound test real quick. I'm trying to find it. Do I need slow mode? All right, hold on. How do I close this? My actions aren't even here anymore. Hold on. All my actions are blacked out. Thank you, Grimzer. I forgot you were al alive. I can type slash prediction. Oh, sick. That's actually really gangster. Is a spacebar allowed? About the same. This actually doesn't sound bad. I'm pleasantly surprised. This actually doesn't sound bad. Sorry, it's it's doubling. Like, this is kind of like an elevated sandwich mount, considering how steep it is. All right, get your votes in. We're going to run real quick. Teos Spacebar was volume 11. <laughs> I'll take off the watch for you, y'all. I hope you appreciate that I'm using my, my YouTube mic. It also may be the fact that uh, if he's, I mean, he uses a shotgun actually. Never mind. I'm gonna end this mission in three, two, one.
Oh my god, somebody subscribe. We can't do three, we don't have time, so pay out again. Swap time. Uh, so take off the back. Same mounting. I didn't change the mounting yet. We're gonna change the mounting now. I will be doing a review on this for, for this on YouTube. See the brass booty sign? Hold on. I gotta get this high. I'm not used to streaming with a shotgun. I think it sounds pretty good. I wish I had the flexibility because the silicone just eats all the flexibility. It doesn't rattle with the magnetic. The magnetic is pretty strong. I don't think the back piece changes sound at all. The most 65 does look plastic if you run full aluminum. Thoughts, my AV3, uh, thoughts on AV3 is that it isn't as, thought, as thocky as I thought it would be, but the stainless steel step is a pretty nice aesthetic and, and, and otherwise cheap looking and feeling board. It's a preference thing with 65, some people like it with the two right mods. PC bottom will definitely change the sound, I don't know about feel. I don't really feel a difference with uh, PC boards. The aluminum looks cheaper. It feels cheaper mostly. It's mostly a feel thing. I put it in my hands, I'm like, oh, this is this definitely feels like a budget board. The play you just saw is pretty good for the thought. Aluminum is pretty good too. FR4 or palm plate for maximum thock depends on the switch, but I would run FR4 because it's a stiffer material. Look, if you hold this in your hand, if you hold this and KBD67 Mark II in your hand, the weight's gonna be very similar, and it's gonna feel very similar to a. It's gonna feel very similar to a. Uh, what's other board? Savage 65 as well. And I've, since I've handled all those boards, I just kind of like categorize them in a different tier. Isn't carbon fiber more stiff than FR4? Yeah, it de depends on what switch you're gonna use. There's no like, this is the thockiest plate ever. I don't know if I'll be able to do a weight comparison. I think I told you before what it was gonna weigh like for the aluminum without keycaps. But I'm like running out of time. My fiance is getting ready. We gotta dip soon. Would I rather eat Salisbury steak or meatloaf for the rest of my life? Ugh. Ugh those are like frozen meals, bro. <laughs> Thank you for asking a non keyboard question. Half player full depends on what you like, man. Some days I like half, some days I like full. Inks and black, palm and black inks, you could actually get deeper thock out of a aluminum plate, I think. Palm and inks just sound creamy. Take the, all these words with a grain of salt because they all like sound like bullshit. We're getting boba with some friends from San Diego, my, my best man actually. I wanna show my one wheels, I'm, I'm gonna pack in the car. <laughs> okay, I got this connected, I gotta flip this over. Oh man, this is, I always forget, do it in the right order. Holy pandas do well with brass, man. But you can do FR4 too, but it's gonna be a little quieter. 
Holy hell, this is heavy. Slot in, bro. Come on. There you go. Nice and easy. Thousand miles on your pint? Dude, I went 20 something miles and then um, I overexerted my knee. <laughs> I'm just weak. I rode my one wheel, 20 something miles. How many bananas is away? Let me pull out my PP. I'm just kidding. FR4 or Palm for Boba? Like holy bobas? Am I getting lavender for a shot at F2? No, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I, I'm like super jaded. I'm sorry. I just, no, <laughs> no. Actual boba tea. Yeah, overexerted my knee because I was working out too heavy. Because I came back to the gym and I went straight for a 375 squat. I maxed out twice in a short period of time and GG myself. Chat. We're gonna vote for in like, it's gonna take three seconds, all right? You want the brass back or the what back? Is my keyboard disconnected? Oh, fuck it, I'm just gonna pick one. My keyboard's disconnected. Favorite sound of lacti silent tactiles would be, am I disconnected? Brass 100%? Just vote black or brass. I'm gonna look at the chat. Um, silicone. Brass, brass, brass. Everyone wants brass, bro. So whoever said the, the matching is gonna be whack, the contrast from the back and the top is actually really nice. This, having the contrast up here is kind of nice. Okay, someone asked about rattliness. I heard a little bit just now. So it can move if you hit it. If you move it around, it does feel like there's a rattle. Does it come off? No. Don't forget to put feet on. Oh, right, right, right. Can't forget my rubbers. Did I forget to screw it together? No, no. I did screw it together. The screws are right here. It's uh the magnet. Okay, mode. We can't be doing mustard feet, bro. Mode. I, I don't know who you gotta talk to in, in your man in your factory. But you need to make it gold. Mustard ain't it, man. This is my favorite combo out of the colors we have. Oh, is it good? Is it time for a sound twist? Start a goddamn prediction. One minute. How's it feel with the brass? Yo, it feels money with the brass. It feels good with the brass. Let's pull out a scale since we got some time. We got a minute, so. It feel mighty fine. It feel heavier than a Kiko with the brass. At least a Kiko with aluminum. 72 ounces, 4.5 pounds, two kilos. Feel good with the brass. Is the board screwed together? All right, I'll check for you. I'll check for you. Yes, sir, it is. It's screwed, but the magnet is not that tight. So someone did mention like, why are they so close together? They may be close better on the sides, I'm not sure, but I was testing that rattle from the magnet. So, so there's lateral movement. You look tight, right? I can move it just ever so slightly. Definitely feels more premium with the brass back. I do not. <laughs> Where do you think I'm gonna desolder and solder in a different switches? Where are they gonna come from, fam? It'll, it would make the stream a full day in the Sabaton. <sighs> All right. This here. Let me move these screws out because we put it on this on YouTube, right? 
This here is the Mold 65 with a carbon fiber plate. These are hyperglides, retools, whatever. Um, Durock stabs, brass bottom back, brass back. Under 160. There's 100% an issue going on here. Something doesn't sound right, yeah. So we checked, everything's screwed in. There's like rattle in here. Both top pieces have that movement. That's not the rattle. I'm gonna take the top piece off and I'll type. Let me see. What is that? Dot work cable, maybe? Did I not screw it in? Uh, unscrew. Yeah, it might be that the brass also has that tolerance issue. Don't tighten the screw so much. Thank you, Cookie Curls. No play phone. No play phones were available. I'm gonna take a look again. There's no silicone on this one. So that sound test was oh, no silicone. God, I think it sounded better without. Dude, my dog's going crazy right now. Grab this, make sure I don't strip the daughter board out. So don't tighten the plate screws too much or the, the case screws cookie. Docky's configuration, run aluminum or FR4. So I don't think it's the plate, right? It would have to be the bottom. The sound is very reflective. Yeah, I don't, I don't love the brass. I actually prefer the aluminum stack mount sound. So what I'm gonna do right now, yeah, we can do silicone on the bottom, but like so far that means both of the proto backs don't work without silicone, which kind of fucks us because we can't test uh, anything but the, a pseudo stock stack mount. So Cookie said, don't screw it in too tight. We cannot do alu isolated. Chat, we cannot do isolated because of the about the case uh, tolerances. We cannot do isolated because of the case tolerances. The brass back was supposed, to, the brass bottom was one that's supposed to be not, supposed to be not Supposed to not have an issue. Okay, don't tighten the screws too much. Okay, let's see. Loosely tight? Wait, if it's rattly and I don't screw it in as tight, I'm barely typing, tightening it. Was it rattle from PCB hitting the bottom? I'm not sure. When I do silicone, I should remove the plate caps. That's not it though. That's a different mounting. I stack is with silicone and the cups. I can take out the screws. What the fuck? I, Cookie, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't, I like barely screwed in the bottom and the rattle's gone. 
cooking. That doesn't make sense, but it worked. Thank you. What the fuck? Hold on. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Yo, check out Cookie Carol. She has a proto too. She has a just a YouTube channel. But why? I don't know, dude. I'm just gonna sound test it. We're not gonna run a prediction for this one. I'm just gonna type it blind. Let's tighten this frame up. Oh shit. Oh, I'll do a typing test, but it won't be for whatever. Prototype things. Okay, so this is uh, top ISO, no silicone. So this is top ISO with a brass plate, a brass bottom, brass back, and I like loosen the screws a bit. Hyperglides on carbon fiber Duroc V2 stabs, GMK keycaps. Let's start over. Mode 65, hyperglides on carbon fiber, top ISO, no silicone, uh, brass bottom, brass back. GMK keycaps. Oh my God, somebody subscribe. It is Choke City. Uh, my thoughts on this so far, let me see, let me think, let me think. The brass is definitely more reflective, so you want some kind of material in there. You want maybe foam, like someone mentioned, or cotton, polyfill, whatever. Mm. So I don't think I have time to do the top mount. I mean, maybe, but the, I would definitely run with the, uh, the little thingies, the little rubber caps. Brass bottom definitely makes a difference, but yeah, it is more reflective. So it, it definitely sounds, the problem is I can't do the this same mounting without the silicone. What I can do right now is add the silicone. That's our last sound test. You wanna see the brass bottom? Here you go. Mustard feet though. Does stack mount require plate foam or not? Uh, you want flex test? Sure. Carbon fiber ain't flexing, bro. Full carbon fiber, there's very minimal flex. Very slight. All right. So what I'm gonna do right now is try to get that foam in there. Or the, the little thing is called plate caps. Trinity, I'm just trying not to say condoms. Cause my brain is just thinking condoms. I think the brass bomb is clear coated. Yeah, I'm thinking this is gonna sound very full with the silicone, considering we're not really getting any flex by going with the top ice amount anyway. The lilac is very nice. Just gotta make sure you have a keycaps that don't match. But it is kind of more of an, a commitment. To... Shit, I just dropped this. The brass feels a little bit more premium than Vega. 
the brass bottom, full brass bottom. It doesn't have a heavy gaskety sound like I expected, which is a good thing in my opinion. So in that regard, I can see why Teja said he prefers this over the Element G67, which is a gasket sound. FR4 or Palm for Banana Swiss FR4? How much is Vega with the brass? And the Vega is always like 320 through 30. The copper, I don't know if it's gonna affect the sound too much versus the brass. It's all been top ISO mount or top ISO mount with uh, silicone because of limitations from the prototypes. Oh, I took I used the wrong screws here. No wonder. These are for the case. F4 palm full for a Holy Panda. I can't, I really can't just look at all your configurations and tell you what to do with your boards, guys. I just can't. Like the fun of the hobby is to test out yourself or just make a guess from your own research and from your own ears. What I like and what I recommend can be different. Cause like I, I say, I don't like JWK on Palm really, but some people love it. What do you like this more? The element, they're different. If you want a gas KD sound, the element's closer to like the Vega and the Mode 80. This one, even with all the stuff we're putting in here, like the silicone and the rubber caps, it doesn't sound too heavy handedly docky or heavy handedly gaskety. JWK recommendations with FR4, dude, they're all very similar. You can just grab one, even get L7's room, and just pick your favorite color. The differences in, in them are so minute. What does gaskety mean? Some foamy? Listen to a Mode 80 and that's very gasky. Listen to a Vega, that's very gasky. Once you chain your ears, you can really hear the patterns in boards. And a lot, of, having a lot of pour on sounds gasky. So I'm talking about like pour on case layer, piece B layer, and gasket layer. Aluminum will not have a bit. <laughs> I don't have the plate in front of me. Sometimes aluminum has more flex cuts. Like the Matrix boards, uh, aluminum pl plates have flex cuts. So it can be somewhat flexible. But for the most part, a metal plate don't flex. <laughs> Coolie, that's very interesting. Why didn't you get a Polaris if you like that? I don't think this has a very similar sound to the Polaris with the inks on palm half. I just put inks on palm plate. I literally only do that. So I'm getting a new palm plate for my Rukia, and I'm just gonna run inks on palm full in a Rukia, which is a, which is a PC. Half plate got inks? Oh, okay. I mean, it's available. You still get a very similar sound profile out of the inks, but the gaskets are gonna drive a lot. Okay. Cool. We'll run one last prediction for the funsies. Salvation of your demise? Yeah, I feel that. Trinity, I try my best. Which is why I also scuff boards because I'm always looking at something else. <clears throat> I can run another build. I can just desolder. Let, like, if you guys vote for another switch, I could if I have it. Excuse me, I'm dying. This is silicone. We don't have PCB foam. I can do another build. It's just not today, though. Get inks on this on carbon fiber. That'd be a good comparison versus the uh, element. I say yes on the brass back, even though it's expensive. It really adds that appeal. I, I can see myself holding onto this board longer with the brass bottom. Or the brass back at least. Brass back at the very least. This this top part where you see most of it, it's nice. I 
I have holy bobas I can build into this. Holy bobas and carbon fiber in this might be sick. All right, y'all. This is the last sound test for the day. Uh, this is basically a stack mount, but the top mount is still screwed in. So yeah, it's not gonna have as much flex, but the sound profile is gonna be very similar. Uh, this is hyperglides on carbon fiber, two five G zero, Duroff two stabs, and GM kicky caps. All right, there's not point in my mouth. Cool, that's all the configs. Uh, what are my thoughts on this board? I think it sounds pretty good. Honestly, it it exceeds my expectations because I thought the stack mount especially is gonna sound a lot like the mode. I don't think it sounds a lot like the mode 80. It, it means, <laughs> it, it's, it's meeting sound means it's just lower pitch and they kind of sh they high frequencies or a little bit more rounded off when you have silicone at the bottom. So it should be less ear piercing. Does the Ruka feel cheap? No, because there's a big ass weight in the back. This is this is hard to describe as Thocker Clock. It's weird. Would I pay $500 for this board? With the kind of time schedule that it is advertising? If I needed, if I wanted a board that was kind of like, if it's def it definitely feels more mid range, and if you, you go with the higher end trim, it feels more high end. Like this, like unfortunately, or fortunately, is reminiscent of the Kiko number two. Is a DD D3 Mic Pro new, or it's I've been using it for all of my sound tests, Herjay. So on YouTube, I find it the most accurate. So I'm running it for today's sound test. So. I can cut these quick and get up on YouTube probably later tonight so it can help people's purchase decision or people can just run the clips and compare it versus my YouTube channel. So the sound is gonna be very similar. I don't, with my dynamic mic, it's good quickly, but you still want to refer to my, or my uh, shotgun mic for my YouTube sound test. Did the brass, brass bottom sound that different? You can listen to the sound test yourself. Hopefully people clip, clipped it or you can be the change you wanna see and clip it yourself. I liked the sound of the stack with aluminum more. So to draw less money, my recommendation would be to do whatever colors you want for the aluminum top and aluminum bottom, run an accent color on the back, so this way you don't spend too much money. Brass back and brass bottom together seems weird. I don't think it seems that weird if you look too closely. This, I'm using, uh, Alpha Gaming's like lo-fi uh, playlist. I go silicone with brass bottom. That's all, it's kind of boiled down to preference. I didn't like how the brass bottom without silicone sounded. So I'm imagining the acoustics of aluminum bottom will be better. Like someone said, this the brass is more reflective. So brass bottoms just don't sound as clean. We'll pay it out under. Thanks for the reminder.
Magnets are cool. But like I said, you, you can hear it right here. There is some lateral movement. Just like very minute. It's solid though. I have to use my nail to dig underneath to open, to pull it off. If I don't use my nail, it's not coming off. I have to like catch a ridge. It looks like Kiko, if you got the brass bottom, yeah. I record sound tests directly to my camera and I edit in Adobe Premiere. How much will mirror back effect sound? We don't know. I don't has it. Did I weigh with a brass accent aluminum bottom? I did earlier. They need to add two more magnets to the sides. That might be to make it too hard. To, they would have, I feel like if they do two more magnets, they would have to have a little ridge for you, a ledge for you to pull off. And that sucks. Compared to the Vega, the Vega has a gaskety sound. I don't know if I have it handy, but my Vega has like JWKs, it's very different. Could I pull from the USB port? Not really. There's nothing to grab onto. The Xenosmo 5 is also gaskety. Any kind of porn gasket mount board is gonna sound very similar. Vega, Element G G67. I think 6.5 V2. This one is not using porn gaskets. So it's closer to the old school top mount that we had before. The stack mount, the stack mount really, in my opinion, is just adding a silicone bottom, which mutes sound. But in the silicone bottom, it's helping with the reflectiveness of the brass bottom. Three magnets might be a good move. Yeah, I thought it was gonna sound like the Mode 80 as well, but it didn't. Can I switch mics now? I'm gonna switch mics. Mic, there we go. All right, I'm back with this, the crispiness. Overall worth, I think. Yeah, here's one. Stack mutes the sound and destroys flex. So if you want a louder, Honestly, the combination I did here, the brass bottom has a louder space bar, I think. It's the, it's more or less the stack mount without these people. I don't, shotgun mics don't do well in my room because of sound reflection. I swear to God, I answered aluminum for four and holy can so I'm not going to answer it. All right. That's gonna be it. Thank you everyone for attending the stream. Hopefully you learned something. Hopefully you have some more information to help you with your purchase decision for the Mode 65. My overall thoughts is that it's a pretty good buy. At $300, I feel like I would have to spend a little bit more to get the silicone, so $20, and probably swap out, not use the, the black back. All black, it, it is stealth. You saw it, it looks clean, but it's really boring. I would go minimum. Even if minimum, like some kind of accent color, the aluminum full, like feels kind of light. So I don't love that. But if you're kind of tr treating this as an entry level board, then it's, it serves you better to save more money and just run around 300 something dollars. You get the bra brass bottom, which really elevates it. It's a hundred something dollars. So it's cool to have all those options. And once again, the issues with the back are going to be revised for production, the silicone it's not going to look as rough. This was 3D printed. And what else? There will be PCB foam available. Purchase it. The production schedule, they had an accelerator schedule for August, but they're not doing that anymore. They're pushing everything to October. Some of the colors are not available for October anymore, like white. It'll be December. Do I recommend this over other GBs? I trust that mode can actually fill in their time frame versus a company, a company saying it's going to be four to five months and they make take it. I'm really frustrated with the current GB model. I like that mode is really changing that. Whatever relationships they have with the factories, they're doing a good job. There's a delay with mode. At most, it's like a month or two versus a fucking six month period, right? Being delayed by a quarter is not fun. Not at all. I hate that.
My mic is cutting out? Why? Did you hear everything? Tell GMK? It's not just GMK. Yeah, so it's overall goodbye. I trust that they're going to... Worst case is like January. It's not going to be like, oh, we're delayed and you don't hear anything from them for three months, which is half of my freaking GBs. Dog mic test sounds good. Over under Vega taking over 12 months. I don't know what's going on with the Vega. The sound of the ISO, it sounds very similar to the Savage for, for the ISO top, because it's like the same thing. I can rerun... Jackson! I can... I will like re-record that little summary at the end. The sound test of was important. Jackson! Go to your bed. So yeah. Board is a good buy. Uh, there's no cap on that. I'm not lying. They're not paying me. It, I'm just tired of gasket -y sounding boards. A gasket or a deep sounding board, like the creaminess or whatever marbly sound, like a Jelly Epoch, is fun. It sounds good to hear a sound test of it. But dailing it, that's where I get bored of that sound. He left already. Tapping field to gasket mount. The tapping field, because I'm using the stack mount, it's stiff. It's not very uh, flexible. But I'm also using carbon fiber plate, so it wasn't gonna be flexible in the first place. I like top mount for daily. My camera got dropped when I was filming outside. Space 65 is more hollow than this. I like the aluminum bottom better. The feel and premiumness of the brass bottom feels better though. ISO top mount, I like the ISO top mount. It's it's burger mount. And Burger Mount solid. I like Burger Mount because it rounds out a little bit of the sharpness of some switches. CF plate is stiffer than FR4. And PC. PC is flexible. Different sound. I'm not going to tell you what config I would run because you're just going to copy it and you're not going to be happy because you're not me. We need a last dance in these three subs. I got a dip. I don't like, I got to go before my fiance kills me. Yeah, that's the problem with it. The $300 price point gets you a decently sounding board, $320 to get the silicone stack mount with the aluminum full everything. Sounds pretty good, but it doesn't feel that premium. You want the titanium back or the mirror finish? Oh man, that's going to add up in cost, which is a little bit of a drag because it can get you in to the door with the $300 and you get this like sunk cost fallacy where you've already committed and imagined yourself getting this board which is why they ran the configurator not throwing shade to mode they're doing it very smart you run the configurator and you're like oh my god I want this and then you've already emotionally invested into it and you're like shit now I gotta add this hundred dollars this fifty dollars this twenty dollars and that is like that is like what's gonna cut get people they're gonna end up with getting more expensive boards it's so smart. <laughs> the VOD's gonna be up. I'm not taking it down. Yeah, so if if you have the self-control, you can get by with a really good sounding board for about $300 to $350. And if you want a board that looks good, feels good, and feels premium, then you're gonna add a lot of cost. And I would honestly, I would rather get this than a GB for any other board. If you can, if you like the sound profile, this kind of like... Um, silicone top mount it's like a t it's like a very old old school sound if you like that great if you want a gaskety sound this is not gonna be it like if you want this to sound like a vega it's not gonna sound like a vega you want this to sound like my polaris it's not gonna sound like the polaris and it sounds very different from the mode 80. so that's good if you like mode 80 get the mode 80. If you like the sound of this which is a little different a little bit more like the endless 80 that i've posted which is the top mount my rookie which is the top mount there's a lot of uh, top mount options this sounds fuller than the 7V. Then other other than that is preference. The 7V has hollowness in my builds. I'm going to do with the playlist. So playlist in the 7V is what people go for because of that and the aesthetic. The 7V looks nicer than this. Yeah, Puguli. I, I try to help people with that and they, they don't understand. Would I daily this? Yeah. 
play the sound, just listen to my half plate builds and listen to the alphas. I'll do top with PC mom will feel cheap and sound better. Okay. Do not get PC, in my opinion, unless there's RGB. That's my opinion. I like the option of turning on the lights and make, having a disco. Without that option, like... Eh, eh. This is a significant upgrade of the GMK Pro. Old school sound like a top mount. It just doesn't sound... It doesn't have like a creamy sound. It's a non-creamy sound. I don't like PC by itself if I don't have the option of RGB. I'll turn it off, but I don't like... It, it feels like not enough of a value add if I can't turn on the lights. Even if I don't use it with lights most of the time. It's a personal thing. Alright y'all, I got a dip. Let's see who's streaming right now. Let me connect this. Oh my god, it is heavy. Yeah. PC... PC scratches like hell, so I want to have the RGB. At least I have something fun with it. PC tops match with a lot of keycap sets. It's, it's almost like uh, E-White in terms of color matching. But... I don't know. Without RGB, I'm like, meh. Who's streaming? Oh, just chatting streaming. Oh, no. PC is polycarbonate. It doesn't flex. I've already tested it a few times. Disaster Tron? <laughs> the, the silicone is like 4 mil, 5 mil. What type of mounting styles has this board and how do they work? Unique? I'm not going to repeat. That was the entire stream. I'm not getting KS Proto. Just came. <laughs> There's a VOD. You can watch the VOD. I don't recognize any of these streamers. So I'm gonna let y'all just go. Have a great day. Don't spend too much money on this keyboard. But if you're gonna spend money, I would probably trust that they'll fulfill this one in a reasonable time. Yeah. All right, peace. I'm hungry. I haven't eaten yet. Goodbye.